Yeah, we popping tonight. Yo, Fat Nasty Podcast, man. We the Belly Gang Boys, man. I'm one half of the Belly Gang Boys. Let me put my belly on your butt. About to have some fun tonight, man. Talk some shit. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go around and everybody introduce themselves because what I got going on during this quarantine and chill time. I'm Netflix. I'm tired of watching that shit. Quarantine and chill. I don't want to watch no more Netflix. G, this shit is over. I don't watch, two, I don't watch every movie. Yeah, that's a <laughs> Me too. <laughs> we look like everybody introduced themselves. Rallo, you be safe out there, B. Bird, you and yeah, Kelly. Man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We signed about your graduation, man. Y'all signed up my boy Rallo, too, man. He about to graduate, man. I'll push his shit back, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you alumni. Congratulations, Rallo. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. So, let's start off with the ladies, man. Y'all introduce me. Let's start off with you, buddy. Introduce yourself. Let us know what you got going on. Talk your shit. Hey, y'all. It's Nadi J. I am a entrepreneur. I just graduated college. Um, I do YouTube, oh, okay. so make sure y'all follow my YouTube channel, Amadi J. That's it. I'm pretty sure they'll give you my Instagram so y'all can learn how to spell it. It's nice to meet y'all, and I'm excited. Okay. Where you graduated from? University of West Georgia. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Almost, almost to Alabama. <laughs> almost, but not quite, not quite. Hey, you was the only black motherfucker at that school. I've been to West Georgia. That's Georgia. a lie. That is a <laughs> lie. <laughs> nah, I know. I'm just black. The West, when I was in college, West Georgia said the best pajama park. Where did my mom live in? West Georgia was a good school. We partied yeah. a lot. My beat though, talk your shit, man. You still working, Bobby? You know you like. That's air flight lines right there. That's air flight. I'm still air out flight. There. I'm still outside, man. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're still outside. <laughs> yeah, you know, but, I, but I'm blessed to be. You know what I mean? I'm happy I still got a job. I'm essential, I guess. Right, right. Because every niggas is getting laid off right now. Hell, yeah. <laughs> Bobby, let these people know what's up. Talk your shit, Bobby. Two passport Bobby, man. Talk your shit. It look like Bobby got that dial up. They work. Oh. Shit. Like, they do, they do, they do. Oh, okay, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, yeah. yeah. Everybody got this dial up, man. I'm saying the cow cats over to that shit, man. Her shit go, man. Yo, Rallo, introduce yourself, man. Talk your I'm shit. Say, What's up, y'all? I'm Rallo, man. Uh, oh, I'm currently, right, I'm right now, I go to uh, cop, excuse me, right now, I go to Clark Atlanta University. I graduate in December. I'm a gra- I'm a graduating senior, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I I, I got going on. I internship with Hood and FEC, you know. So yeah, that's pretty yeah, much okay. going on. Oh, fat nasty too. Don't forget that. Yeah, I'm yeah, fat nasty. Fat nasty. Yeah, yeah. But y'all FCE though. But y'all FCE. Yeah. 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 Yeah, love. Man. OGs right there. No, my OGs right there, man. Hey, man. So everybody been doing, man. Y'all niggas, everybody family's been safe and shit so far. I'm bored. <laughs> I'm yeah, ready to get outside, huh? Can't man. do nothing. <laughs> nothing. Wait, wait till they open up yeah. and say, if this was if this was your average Friday when everything was over, what you what you'll be doing right now? We'll be working. I'll probably be eating drunk or at a club or <laughs> Where you with my friends. Like, I, on Fridays, I'll probably be at Sweet Lounge or something. Okay. Drunk. Hey. What you be drinking? What you drink? Hennessy? Hennessy, Doucet. <laughs> Doucet. <laughs> uh, 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 you on that dark. You on that dark. I love uh-huh. dark. <laughs> That's what it is. That's what it is. Yes, sir. I'm a, so I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a little icebreaker with y'all tonight, man. Oh, I'm gonna okay. ask you first. With Marty J. Marty J. Oh, Bobby's back. Hey, yeah, 
You got too much. You do. You got too much rap cap going on, Kev. Oh, oh, stop. Stop. Uh, stop. Uh, I ain't want to hear nothing else. Nothing tell else. Tell him, man. Tell him that shit. Talk your shit. Tell him, man. Two passport bottles. Two pa- him, shit. Man. Look, business done slowed down, but I'm still popping. Shit still going on. We gonna be all right. Give me a couple months. I'll be back on. Just give me a couple <laughs> months, man. Uh-huh. We will be back. Bobby, tell them what you got going on. You just did a lot of little talking shit. They ain't say nothing. I can't say nothing else. Them folks cut me short. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I, feel, I feel like that bitch with R. Kelly in the background, like, hey, you better not say nothing else. <laughs> 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 you better not say nothing else. You getting too comfortable with them niggas, man. Y'all don't say nothing else, bitch. I got oh, you, you honey. I got you. No, I'm just like, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> hey man, so I, like to, I like to do the icebreaker, right? This is the icebreaker I got for the night. I'm gonna start with the ladies, right? I'm gonna start with you, Amani. Have you ever been? Have you ever chose the wrong nigga? Like you seen a group of niggas and you picked the wrong nigga? And I was like, yeah, man, man it's always. Of course, of course, of course. Who hasn't chosen the wrong person <laughs> once in their life? Like, yes, yes. You did that before? <laughs> yes, you chose the wrong time. No, I'm just kidding. But luckily for me, I found out in time, so I kind of just was like, oop, I ain't really feeling you. It's okay. Where your homeboy at? Oh! <laughs> you, know? oh. <laughs> you, that? you told me that? Yes, like, I really didn't want you. I just want your homeboy. So. Damn. Oh. Well, Damn. It'd be, like, it be like that. Uh, what you think? So did you end up getting a homeboy or what? Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you told something like that? You told him just like that, like, oh, how did he take it? Was he was he a G about it? I mean, like, we only exchanged numbers and that was it. So it's like he couldn't oh, really so you told him through a text message. No, I told him on FaceTime, like, look, I'm I'm gonna be honest, like I don't I ain't really want you. So did he pass you it know- off? He happened to be with the boy at the time. So the boy got on FaceTime and like we was talking and that's how it went. It wasn't like we had history or nothing like that. Yeah, he got that right. number. Whether you know it or not, he was happier that his man at least was like, all right, at least you man. You yeah, know. he probably was in the background like this. Right, fuck it. You holding it down, Scott. He probably was in the background <laughs> room. Like he Yo. probably was punching the air, but it's okay. Like, damn, son, you got that. Why is it like some niggas be rude for their man? Like, man, you gotta do it for me now, man. You gotta stay that. Right. Did he come on to you, or you was like, you just like, how that happened? If he came on to you and then went out, he probably heard. Yeah, so we was, in, we was in the mall and it was a group of them and he was the one that came up to me so that's how we exchanged numbers so oh, then after that like it wasn't oh. nothing too crazy right okay damn see so he thought he probably like yeah you see her I cool she on oh, my body she on my body right <laughs> <laughs> if you call, his nigga's like oh she was on you yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, you made that nigga drive off a cliff. That's crazy. Rilo, it's on you. Have you ever picked the wrong shorty out of the crew? Yeah, I, I used to be the one who had to take one for the team. <laughs> yeah, I had, a, I had my, I had my, uh, my stage, my ugly Douglas stage. I used to always have to be the one to take one for the team. You know, take the team title. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was being real. I, I used to have to do that. The big, it'd always be the big one. You know. Every nigga that has been to school or been around the crew, nigga, they have took one for the team. You have took the car track with it. Yeah. Sometimes you might look up and get you a good strike. Sometimes it might just be. I don't, and you might be fucked up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I got a good straggler. I ended up getting a good one. It was like a three month relationship. It was cool. A straggler. No, it's cool. Like, it's like it's like the homegirl that her heel might be fucked up. <laughs> we, might be, we might not be done all the way. Yeah, but yeah. That's how some of us might get the fighter. She might be the fighter. 
She ain't want to come out. She's not gonna fuck. I'm gonna fuck with y'all. Just cause, but you know, she be ready to pop off. She don't really want to talk to no nigga. She don't want to dance. She ain't really drinking. She like niggas no, offering her drinks and shit. She like, nah, nah, I'm straight. Uh, she stopping <laughs> other niggas. Get nah, nah, don't grab my home. Give me a moment. Yeah, right. Yeah, hey, don't talk to her. Just, yeah, we ain't here. Yeah. The like cock blocker. Yeah, cock blocker. Yeah. Yes. yes. So, Bobby, you know. ever did it before me? I'm leaving the crew for a couple years, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back. Hey, with a new hairstyle you, or something. No. You ever did it? You ever did it before, Bobby? You ever chose the wrong nigga? Yes, and I'm leaving the crew. Oh. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. Oh, you ain't gonna talk to you once you just shot. I can't. It's over. I can't. How you get around? Cause you get you get around them and find that really the, the friends money that you had. You put the boss money. <laughs> oh. He let you do all that cat shit. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. The cat be like so. The cat in Atlanta, the cat is so fucked up. Like it's so. It's, that shit is yeah. real as fuck. Like yeah. um, the bosses really don't even be giving a fuck. Like they be like, oh, okay, that's just what he do. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, that's crazy. Oh, that's some real shit. Uh, yeah, shit do go on like that. The boss is money. Yeah, niggas be carrying on, like for real. You won't get your mama no real money. I don't want to move you. Hey, Rich. You won't get your mama no real money. Hey, look at Sonny. He don't want to be like you when he grow up. <laughs> hey, yo, it's so crazy, man. Right? <laughs> hey, look, it's so crazy. That shit happened to me before, but me and this nigga Rich. No. Shorty had a lie. I walked up to Shorty and told her. That wasn't really true. Yeah, it was, no, nigga. But I ain't a choose in the wrong girl. You didn't choose the wrong girl. No, uh, I'm saying I got dead like that. She chose the wrong nigga. <laughs> 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 hey, she act like she wanted to talk to me, right? This nigga came over and swept her, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> came over and looked like he was like, interviewing You know what I'm saying? She already chose her, though. She tells us, I told my cousin. So she gonna try to act all funny with this shit. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I'm about to give you the nigga number. Shit. <laughs> yeah. man, but I had too. He didn't get to though. But you know, it happened to me though. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, to I, was that, I was the one. I was the nigga that got chose the wrong nigga. It's all right though. I know yeah. you ever chose. The wrong. It happens to me. It happens to me. So uh-huh. what happens is, what happens is they let the runner go out. Like the boss don't really be going out like that. So the runner go out and he get the plan with all the money and he flashing, he driving the boss's car and shit. So it's like, oh okay, I done got, I done caught a real one. Then he go take you around the boss because he trying to show off. You know what I mean? And you find out, nigga, you really the runner? <laughs> nah, you know what he doing? Here? You know what he doing? He really going fish. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hey, look, it's so crazy, right? It's so crazy that that, shit, that you say that because that shit go on so much. I seen a fucking meme where it said, she, he was like, hey, man, what you doing? Pull up to the track. She was like, nah, but every time I pull up, they got you running to the store. That shit was like, that shit was funny. God like, damn. Like, nah, because every time I pull up, you run to the store. They slap you in the back of your head. <laughs> no, this shit ain't never been that bad. Niggas ain't getting yeah, that bad. I'm done. I'm done. I know probably. Niggas is not getting that disrespected. Hey, so, all right, so one of the topics tonight, right? Have, I'm going to ask you first, Rollo. Have you ever been a side nigga before? Yes. You was? Yes. You enjoy, do you enjoy being a side nigga? Was it cool? It was cool because when you were a side nigga, you ain't. It, it, it's it's a limit on that. Ain't, <laughs> ain't it's a limit. Nigga, I'm That's a side, okay so with you. you do? If I ain't for no commitment, okay. okay. So were you, first of all, were you aware of the situation that you were side or down the line that you was fucking with? And you found out like, hold on, I ain't see situation. Not till afterwards. Oh, so you ain't know you was a side nigga. Yeah, I ain't know I thought you. But then it was like when I found out, I was like, all right, whatever. So I was like, damn, damn. Man. so you really, yeah. you were damn, you damn. 
<laughs> no, no, I see no. No, no, I just I don't know. I, I like I already be tripping like that for real. Like if, if it's not nothing serious, if it's just like a um like it's just a benefit benefits or something like that, I, I already don't put too much into it. Right. So you know like, what, huh? Okay. Yeah. What you say? All the years of taking one for the team. So you was like, you really want to sweat that shit. No, I wasn't sweating that shit for real. I wasn't sweating it. Bobby, have you ever been a side chick? I plead the fifth. Oh, oh hell no. I gotta get a body here on that. I gotta move you. Man, this shit might go too far, boy. <laughs> Have you ever been to side joint? I don't know. Y'all tell me. Beat those. Give us, give us a story. Give us a story. <laughs> we want to hear it. Yeah, I want to know. Give me the story. Give me the story. Okay, yes. Yeah, sip, sip if you want to, G Rich. Sip if you want to. No, I'm just <laughs> 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 Oh man, was you side joint? Beat up, beat up. You been side joint before? I don't know. I said y'all tell me. I'm saying we all know your history. You gotta speak to people. Don't know. You gotta give us a scenario. Give us a scenario. Right now, you speak your truth, word. Yeah. Was you ever the side joint? God, not knowingly. Not knowingly. Like what I do is like. You know what I mean? I'm not home all the time. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you could slick tell me anything. Like, I'm going to be gone for four days anyway. So, you know what I mean? So, you ain't know? Hell no, nah, I ain't know. Shit started where falling out the bag and everything. Shit started where you, coming out. Where, where you was that when you found out? Where you was that when you found out? <laughs> How you started out? <laughs> this, was, this was in Phoenix. Those oh, days. Was, oh, this was in Phoenix. How day. you find out? How did I find out? I think she might have called my phone. That man had a whole wife in Florida, Ooh. but we in Phoenix. Like, we uh, damn near living together in Phoenix. Like, oh shit! Yeah, did that shit hurt. Boy, what? So how did you react to that? How did you man, react? I to the fuck out, man. That shit was Not real me. fucked up. This man, this man had. It was fucked up. This man had. Two kids in London, one in Jamaica, and a wife in Florida. Like, how? What was he, a football player, a rapper? What? God damn, yeah, you need some more water for that motherfucker. What happened? What you mean, what happened? Shit started hitting the fan. The wife called my goddamn phone. I'm coming home and, like, yo, what the fuck? Like, but, Beto, for me, knowing you, it's like, yo, how how you ain't spazzed? Like, how you be spazzing? You let that slap? <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, shit oh, had, but... oh, beef. Yeah. Oh, beef. I'm oh, telling you, the meat was that good? Yeah, the meat was expensive. The meat was good. No. <laughs> I got a fat. No. Because oh. at, that, at that point, that's when we draw the line. Like, you didn't give me an option, bro. Like, you ain't tell me what was going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got up out of there. Like, now it's time to go. Like, because you lied about, like, not only her, but you lied about kids and everything. We could have been going back and forth and all that shit. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, Did you miss me after that? Like, damn. No, bitch. Oh, for that shit. We got to drink to my dead homies, man. Oh, my dead homies, man. <laughs> dead to me, man. No, this is so. Tell me. Tell me. Hey, you missed that joint? You missed that joint? Dope, baby. I'm trying to get him, too. <laughs> <laughs> so you missed that joint. That's it. Dang, that was, it, was, it was a learning experience. That shit taught me a lot. Like, that shit taught me a lot. That's why I got trust issues today. Like, I'm not playing with no niggas. Like, yeah, we got the first time all the day. All day. Like, all day. Every day. You That's running down on shit now? So you Man, what? It. I'm lying about when I'm coming home and everything. 
Oh, so now you just playing. Oh, so now you oh, playing. playing. Oh, you missed it. You want to know. Yeah, oh, you're yeah, an I'm yeah, yeah, I'm telling you I'm going to be gone for four days. I'm coming home in two. Now. Yeah, see, so y'all flight attendants with Damn. Yeah, a little bit. I ain't going to hold so you. you. Pop, so you popping in on a nigga. You ain't even going to let a nigga know you home. At all. Damn. <laughs> That's, That's how you do it. That's how you got to do it. Okay, you got to. I switched the whole schedule on him. Like, now we're not playing at all. Now we're not playing at all. I done been uh, scorned. Yeah. <laughs> so to answer the answer to back back to the original question, yes, I was a side bitch, but I didn't know. Okay, okay. So you weren't so you weren't willingly known that you decided. No. Uh, would I you mean, become- I, and wait, here's another part. Some of them baby mamas might call me a side bitch, but that ain't bitch. Look, I let you hold him. I let oh, him okay. donate some sperm, bitch. That ain't that ain't about nothing. He'll be back. Okay, talk that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> what? She let she you hold. Him. He let you hold him. Donate some sperm. Okay. That still makes you the side nigga. Side joint. Oh hell. You just said you said yo, if you got niggas and they got baby moms, you like you that you not worried about that? Like yo, y'all can do what y'all do. I still get mine, right? He'll be back. Okay, that's right. still that's- another Quayla in the morning. He'll he'll love me in the morning. Oh, okay. <laughs> what they say? Another another kilo, another Quayla. What do you say? Another Quayla. Another Quayla. He'll love me in the morning. I'll move another key. He'll love me in the morning. Not he'll love you. In the morning. Bobby, you, I'm surprised you had that, though. You, you should have brought some windows out all type of shit. Oh. Bobby, I know. Yeah. You know, I know. <laughs> that shit would have went down. I, I seen you ask. We ain't going to talk about it, but I seen you. Well, we don't really want to talk about those things, too. I don't know how far. <laughs> that man might see this shit. Yeah, yeah, I see. We ain't going to talk about hey, that. Hey, right. Amadi, wake up, wake up, wake up. You ever been inside, side joint? Okay, I didn't know. I didn't know until on, until she found out about me. Is basically he was playing both sides. If I can, okay. if that makes sense, like he playing both sides. We was dating act- actively. She was more of the obsessed ex that couldn't get over him, allegedly. Mm. Okay, okay, so, and, so what? Okay, go ahead, I'm gonna let you finish. No, you go ask me what, what you gotta say. Okay, so, <laughs> right, so, right, before you tell too much, don't tell too much. What, the term, what, what, what determines a lot about the situation? Because when I just see you do this, hold up, when we see you do this, I think you knew you was a side joint. That's what I think. No, okay. no, no, for real. Like, you know, like the control you have over a person. So, like, a side joint wouldn't have the control that I had. If that makes sense. That makes sense. So you like main, you like the main side joint. I was, I was. She was the side joint. Oh, okay. Right. We just gonna put it like that. Okay. Uh, So look back to my question though. So it's like after you found out, was like what was the what what happened after you found out? And you could hold on real quick though. Somebody got some tapping going on in the background. I don't know what that is. Is somebody tapping or something or what? Is that anybody? No. Mm-hmm. Rob Angel. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Nah, because he just texted me. He said, yo, everybody know make sure to keep hearing a little clip. But, all right, but anyway, um, Amari, so after you found out, what happened? Okay. Was it like so, it was a dub? Was he a dub or he was just like, okay, well, he's the Oh, it was a dub because when I found out, the way I found out is she messaged, messaged me and was like, I'm pregnant. And I was oh. like, but then she put a twist. She was like, well, I don't know if it's his or if it's your brother. And so oh, like, oh no, I'm Ooh. out. Like, it's okay. What so, yeah, so oh, she was. Yeah, like she was. This court, this court out Damn. No, so, this is when I lived in Iowa. Like, I was in Iowa when this happened. Uh, I, damn niggas out there in Iowa getting popping like that too. <laughs> what you doing in Iowa? Iowa? Apparently, my mom moved up there, so I had to go up there too. Oh, Listen, man. so Amada, you telling me this? So let me get this right. So you were saying you was fucking with him, right? Mm-hmm. He, he was fucking with 
his ex, who was the strange one, but at the same time, she was fucking his with brother your brother. was smashing too? Like, that's no, she was fucking with my brother. Yeah, she was messing with my brother, and she was messing with him. So when she got right. pregnant, she wrote me and said, I'm pregnant. I don't know if it's his or your brother's. And I was just what, like... What, is Iowa this big or something? <laughs> no, I was it's small. That would make it small, like ooh, oh. type thing. So it was just like, oh, I'm in Georgia. I'm in Georgia. Oh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Did you and the girl know each other? Do we ever what? Did y'all know each other? We knew of each other. She never liked me because of the re- relationship I had with him, and he was older, so she was not for it. So and she was fucking you know? what? Your little brother? Your big brother? My older brother. So it's like a three year difference between me and the guy. Mm. So on the low, like if you do some backtracking, like you and your brother was sick, slick, fucking on the low, sis. No. So listen, when she was pregnant, like she was trolling the boy. Like I had just started messing with him. She was already pregnant when I had started messing with him. And then she came out and was like, I'm pregnant type thing. But low key, oh, yeah. Man. When you think about that, like your blood disgusting. brother, this is my blood brother. Damn. When your birthday, yeah. girl? March twelfth. <laughs> oh my god, you a Pisces? I am. Girl. A Pisces. Oh my god, I, girl. My birthday hey, March twelfth. But okay. girl. <laughs> yeah, I had to I'll leave that alone. I was just like, girl, because the way she told me, she was like, she told my brother, and my brother blocked her, and he was just like, so. that wasn't his thing. My bro, bro but that's a lot. Yeah, oh, that's no part. She, but even after that, like she kept egging me on, so I was just like, I don't know if this is my stepchild or my niece. Like, I don't know which one it is. So, like, wow. after that, she just left me alone. Like, it was, <laughs> oh, baby, what? Oh, baby, yeah. oh, baby, it was what? his, not my brother's. It was the boy's. Oh, oh yeah, my God, it wasn't Joe's fucking niece or nephew. Like, ooh, see, I, knew it, I, knew it wasn't, I knew it wasn't your brother's because she probably did that. She found out she was hurt. That you yep. were fucking up. Being that she found out who extra. your brother was to get close to you and find out the scoop on you. Oh, I'm pregnant and so she was just trying to stir some shit up. She probably wanted yeah. to fuck his man. But to this yeah, day, probably. she still don't like me. Like to this very day. Yeah, of course she, she don't. You cute. You got them little Chinese you know, eyes. I see you, girl. All the way out there in Iowa. Right, I'm all the way in Atlanta. She in Iowa. And she still don't like me. They are what they got there. That's um, make it not Idaho. <laughs> you know, yeah, what's the capital of Iowa? Des Moines. Yeah. Des Moines. Oh, my oh God. they. Yeah. I don't know what the hell going on out there, Jack. I bought some dope Sriracha yeah. there. Never before. again. Never. I bought again. some Sriracha yeah. there before. Hey, That's Rich, weird. you ever been inside a nigga before? It's I've weird. been inside a nigga before. You used to side nigga before? Yeah, I've definitely been inside a nigga before. Did you like just it? How did you feel about it? It wasn't really. It wasn't really a life because I knew the situation. It was like, okay, I knew they had a nigga, but it was like, yo, the vibes was just it was rocking. You know what I'm saying? I ain't had no situation. I was doing me. Shit, she was calling me when you know when they shit went right or whenever she got ready. I was that. <laughs> oh, so you really smacking it? Like really smashing? Yeah, I was definitely behind, knowingly smashing behind a nigga. She just put stuff to make that it That sound bad, like, so bro. Bad. That sounds so <laughs> bad. Yeah, that sounds bad. Why do you sound so bad? <laughs> well, be bad, bro. Bad. You, you, you knowingly smashing behind a nigga. Like, knowingly. Yeah, I was. But it wasn't like I was fucking the wrong. I ain't fucking the wrong. I was just blitzing. She, 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 didn't know, she, said, she didn't know. She said she didn't know. Rather you know it or not, it don't matter. That nigga, like, listen, I knew what I was doing. It's like, I know you got a nigga, so I'm not jumping here like that, a raw dog and all of that. I'm blitzing. We had, we, we had, I understand it. I know you, that's just you. You know, you going back to that nigga, like, oh, so be it. You know what I'm saying? And it's not like, yo, it was just a man. It was somebody I knew prior. Like, yo, we had, it's, it's, she ended up getting a nigga. You got the nigga, and then she's still like, damn, I'm trying to fuck on you still. Nigga want to hold his shit. I, oh, I don't know what the case was, but you would still be stepping out. It was a case that had to be scratched. Big dog. Okay, Jody, okay. Jody. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I just got Jody. And said, if you need somebody to come clean your pipes. Back. You got you nasty ass, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> you been a side nigga, big dog? 
Yeah, I've been the side nigga. My side nigga almost got me fucked up. <laughs> no. What happened, I, bro? I want to hear what's going on. Uh, my so, so this is when I first get to junior college, right? I'm on bullshit. So I'm fucking, you know, you know, when you first move out on your own, I'm like 17, 18 with my own crib. So I'm in junior college. And I'm fucking with this married joint. You know what I'm saying? Married. Knowingly going behind the nigga. Yeah, knowingly. Knowingly, I'm bullshit. Yeah, but, but she was looking out for me. But you 17, but you 17, but you 17. I, 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 I'm, I'm young, I'm a young nigga. She, she Wait, buying how old groceries. was you, Rich? How old were you when this was going on? Now she buying you groceries. <laughs> <laughs> get it how you live. You got to get it how you live. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry, Nate. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Because Rich don't want to talk about it. Go ahead, Nate. So look, so 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 I'm out here, right? You know, when you're in college, man, you know, you, you, you know, you buy me groceries and I'm coming through. You, you help me pay for a little bit over here and there. You know what I'm saying? Her, her husband was always gone. So you know me, I'm I'm clean up, man. She coming to the she come to my spot though. She come to my spot. I'm down her. I'm killing. So then you know, I get on my young boy just reckless shit. I start going over to their house. They got a nice ass crib in Buffalo. Like out in, you know, out in the suburbs. I'm beating her down. You know what I'm saying? So one day, I'm in there beating her down. You know, this is old school day. So they call that phone. The house phone. I'm at the crib. I'm like, the phone ring. <laughs> so she grabbed it. She pick it up. She's like, yeah, yeah. All right. And she hang up. So you know I me, mean? my intuition dawns on me like, who the fuck that was? She's like, or oh, that's my husband. He said he'll be home in a minute. I'm like, what? Grab my shit. I'm trying to get the Yo, fuck this sounds like this sound like that biggie song I got a story so, to tell. So so I grab my shit, I bump. So you know I've been in the house, so I know how the nigga look. So I get out the house, nigga damn near don't got all my clothes on and shit. I jump in my truck, know my shit. I speak, I'm bouncing. I get down to like the end of the block, turn and make like another turn, and I'm at the stop sign. Why is this nigga at the same four way stop sign, like almost there? Mm. Almost to like to the house, G. I'm like, so she come, she come in my house. I'm telling one of my I'm telling my boy, like, nah, don't let her in. She like, she like, nah, look, I gotta just, I gotta tell you. I'm like, tell me what? Bitch, you almost got me killed. <laughs> I'm like, man, That's why do you know? Do you know what's gonna happen if that nigga would have pulled up to the spot in this crib? You know what it is? Why are you talking about you want him to know? Too, you aware. I thought you ain't never know. Yeah, that. I was with it. So you me. knew. And yeah, I knew. That marriage, that different. I ain't fuck with the man. I ain't gonna do it. That was me being a young nigga just on some bullshit. I was being yeah. young. I was on bullshit. That was me. But that's a lesson learned though. That made me. Hey, look, I learned it early. I ain't never, I don't fuck with marriage women, married women, none of that shit. That shit over. That shit, not that shit, boy. I can't go out like that. Uh -oh. Boy, nigga, I'm thinking about, nigga, what could have happened, nigga? That shit could have got ugly. Right. That shit would have been. Yeah, so that shit just crazy, so. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, man, that shit was, I don't know, man. Yeah, shit different, though. Yeah, that shit was crazy, so I learned my lesson. Yeah, she wicked, too, for the I ain't want to I ain't wanna be the side nigga no more, man. <laughs> Let me be the babe, man. <laughs> fuck that. I ain't got time to sit like that. But hold on, hold on, hold on. Go ahead. AJ, what's your, what's your channel about? So basically, I'm doing challenges right now. So I just did a challenge where we was like, girl, Asking questions girls and guys are afraid to ask each other. Ooh. And then, like, <laughs> I know. I didn't never have I ever. <laughs> What's that? What's that? What's, what? What's the question? I didn't see that one. What's the question? You got to turn into her channel. See, that oh, one's not on my channel. That's on somebody else's channel. So I did a I video. I watch another it. I watch it. I ain't seen it. I was to say, I definitely watched this shit. I well, you that. definitely I'll need to make it a video, girl. It. Yeah, I'll no, you put it on your shit too. If you on there, I'm gonna do a better version on mine. Oh, yeah, you know, no, that's some, mine. What's some of the questions y'all ask that women are afraid to ask guys? So, some of them were like, <laughs> What's your freak level? He asked me why girls think they vagina is so good. 
he uh yeah. we asked um <laughs> does it matter about like appearances when you first meet somebody um what's something that's a deal breaker like just questions i got off of my instagram that people ask like put in my question box so oh, I want to do it, and I want to do better questions. I want to do better content for it. Okay, so look, let's uh, we put you on the spot right now. So what's the question? You you got three men right here. What's the question you would like to ask a man? How much money you got? No, I'm saying. What's your net worth? <laughs> what your boss said? Where's your boss at? Uh, I'm now the you boss. Guys the boss. The right. Are you the runner or the boss? Is somebody above you running it? Like, what, what you got going on? No, you was... really do want to know because niggas really be flexing. Like, they'll be flexing like they stuff. They live in a whole different life than what they portraying to you. And then when you find out, you be like, it's too late to get the boss because you, <laughs> you don't spend a couple yeah, of right? days. You don't <laughs> fucked it up. <laughs> I'm already in it with now you. Now you mad. Now you mad. Oh shit! I'm gonna let I you know straight up. Big bro oh, and shit. Not... Like this shit is all <laughs> fucked up. Yeah, like, big bro. You got two girls. You got two girls. Then what's the question you were asking? Two girls to be asking. Don't act like you're not scared. No. Okay. A girl that you want to talk to. Right. Girl you fucking with. Right. A question you really want to ask her? Just pretend you know I'm Auntie. That's big sis. Ask yeah. her. You ask her. <laughs> so, uh, uh, sorry. Yo, we funny as sis, guys. I think For real, the just ask that her. I would be like, you know, just nervous about asking. You would not ask a woman, a like a girl you fucking with, like for real. I'm gonna keep it totally gangster, like all the way lot. Like I'm gonna tell you the truth. Go ahead, brother. What you want to ask for? No, ask it for real. Why she smell like that? Because she probably didn't take a bath. Yeah, why? Well, you know, no, 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 no. Could I ask? No, no. I, I, she needs the soap. Smell test. I, 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 yeah, she uh, needs the soap. Go put some uh, like white. Like, where where, put some where your dog is it? Show me your that vinegar and, and you snap that pussy back. <laughs> no, nah, what? What? Probably, I'm out. I'm a, look, I got the log off. I'm getting drunk. It'll probably, it'll probably be. <laughs> oh, oh, this is know. the after hour. This is the after hour. Hey, yo, what's up, crazy though? Yeah, let go. What you said, um, Prado? I said, I don't really be tripping. It'll probably be along the lines like, like. What do you want to ask? Like what? Vito, let him go. You keep applying pressure. Let the nigga speak, Scott. I'm, I'm trying to press it because, No, I'm not, Auntie. I'm going to be real with you. Because see, if, if I ask a question, if, I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to be real with you, Auntie. I'm going to be real with you. I'm not going to lie to 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 you. Some things, some things I don't need to know because I know me. And I know if I, if, 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 if I ask this question, I know I'm not gonna like the answer to, and I know that it's probably gonna be that answer. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna ask. What I'm like? Gonna leave have you have like you ever what? Like my what? homeboys? Have you who you got history? I'll see. I'll type I'll see, I, see, cause see if I learn if, if you got if see, see it, okay. nah, nah. Uh, you know what nah, I ask nah. a girl? You know what I ask a girl? What? What? Why do y'all see niggas that don't holler at them? Why y'all hold back when y'all might y'all miss y'all blessing? That'll be yeah, that'll be the question. Ooh. That'll be the question. A lot, the question. Of, a lot of girls don't holler at niggas. They might keep looking at them and shit, but they won't holler at them. If I'm pressing I'm pressing. Man, if I'm if, if I'm drunk, I'm pressing up. Me. Yeah. But why you gotta be drunk though, Auntie? Why you gotta be drunk though, Auntie? Why you gotta be drunk? I got to. I got to. If I'm drunk, I'm press I'm pushing up on them. So what if you at work? I'm not playing no, I'm not playing at all. Yeah, yeah, come here. Right. Look, let me let me let me tell you what I did to a nigga the other day. Let me not the other day, but it okay. was the other day. I don't I it don't know when this is gonna air. So, <laughs> so what I did in my past. Mm. Okay, so I I'm looking at this thing and I'm like, yeah, I know you from somewhere, whatever, whatever. So we exchanged numbers. Chances are we both had each other number in the phone. I, I knew I knew you. Like I know I know myself, and I know I know I know I knew you. You know what I mean? Like 
I know that. Like, we exchanged numbers one time, maybe on some bullshit. I don't know what happened. Either way it go, I pulled back around because <laughs> I'd be on that drunk shit. Pulled back around, and I was like, oh, so you're not going to call me? <laughs> the nigga was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, because you, you, like, look like my type and you it. Like, I got a type and you it. Like, I know, oh! like, I know myself. Yeah, How that go? You might type it like I got to type in you it like I'm, and I know. Oh, you it. Yo, I'm talking about it. You got to use that, ain't it? You got to use that. Do y'all like, I gotta do y'all like you girls it, baby? that shoot they shot? Like, do y'all yeah, like that? Yeah. 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 Hold on, listen, Amari, we gonna we gonna we gonna get to that too because that's a good question as well. But Vito, well, he said Nate asked a valid question. He said, "Why don't women do that?" You heard what you said. The key part that you said is when you drunk. So if you're at work and you see somebody walk through, that's your type. You're a sober woman. You're not gonna say nothing. You need that liquid courage in you to even approach the man. Definitely. That you well, then, so that's. Let me think. Let me think about this for real. Let me think about this. That's a booster. I approach, I got. I got to have liquid courage. I got to. I right, well, see, so that's why his I question was because it's like you can't do it just as yourself in the in your plain self, normal but day. Like get a, up in a work environment, like no, I'm not doing it. Like, so regardless of work environment, anywhere you out without a drink in you, you can't approach a man that you see like, damn, that's my type, and I like it. You, all right, so why? Why? That's his question. He asked, why? Why are you acting like niggas don't do get liquid courage too? Why y'all do that? Not, that's not what we said. Uh, they get to media courage. The whole topic, the topic. You said they get That DM courage. <laughs> they get social media courage. They might see you out DM in public. Courage. Right. Yeah, DM courage. I don't even go at you. I don't got social media, so I don't get social media courage. So that shit miss me. Oh, shit. Miss me. <laughs> miss me. I don't got that courage. I got to have liquid courage. I have to. Ain't no way around it. Like, and, then just, and just the fact of, of the answer your shit, Amadi, it's like, yo, when a, a nigga, it ain't even saying that you like it, but it's different. Because if a woman approaches you without being drunk or boosted up the door and she comes and she approaches to speak to you and like, yo, that's different because women ain't just doing that. Not just normal, just walking up. You could see, you could be in the club and see a nigga, be giving them the eye all night. Like, yeah, nigga, I want you to come say something. Or come speak like yeah, I'm feeling you, but would not walk. You would not walk up to that nigga. You crazy? I'm gonna get drunk if I see something I like. I'm gonna get drunk enough until I can say something. But look what you keep saying. You gotta get drunk. Yes, I do. That's I do. So that's null and void. What you're saying, you can't just walk up and yeah, you're. Man, I don't, I don't, I don't pass way too many opportunities. Now I'm gonna drink until I say something to this nigga. You can't Period. do it in your original state. So that was his question. No. His question. No. Why can't, can't. it happen in your original state? Cause I just can't. I don't know. I can't. I can't answer that. I have another question for y'all. So right. the bottom line is, I know myself, and I know that I need to drink until I go say until I get this nigga number. Cause I, I like question. it. I got another you question. Think? I'm listening, nephew. Do y'all, do y'all know? Do y'all know? And within five minutes of a conversation, you gonna give a nigga some coochie? Yes or no? For sure, they know. Mm-mm. For sure. Mm-mm. No. Maybe, mm-hmm. maybe after like That's one day hanging out, yeah, then I don't know, but that like five minutes of conversation, no yeah, okay. that ain't true. Yeah, that ain't true. I don't, yeah, that ain't true. I don't know. Who made that up. They thought, they've been lying. I don't believe it. I believe, it. like, yo, it ain't necessary. No, 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 let me say this you will meet some guys and off the bat, you like, oh, yeah, I'm fucking with it, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Like, you don't even have to have that conversation, but mm-hmm. like, if you was. If you was to go like a five minute conversation in order to determine whether you was gonna do it or not, mm-hmm. you would have to you need more time because it's like if I didn't know before we had a conversation, nah, I'm gonna need more time. Okay. okay. I'll I'll right. say this though, like I might be like sexually attracted to somebody once I see him, but that don't mean that I'm I wanna fuck, you know what I mean? Like that nigga right. might say two words and I'm out, like. Oh, this thing yeah. is retarded. Yeah, this thing is retarded. I'm out of here. That shit is on you. That shit will dry the shit up so completely and fucked up. Like, if a nigga say something fucked up and dumb, like, oh, get him out of here. <laughs> like, get out. Like, what the fuck? What's your sign? No, that's my favorite question. What's your sign? I got to know if we going to work out or not. I need to know early. <laughs> no, 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 oh, I Sometimes that's not true. 
What? Some, the science Sometimes thing? the science thing. Uh, yeah. how, how old are you, nephew? I'm 29. So, I just started yeah. coming out uh, last Friday. You got a little bit of time. Look, you need to go through some things. <laughs> <laughs> that science shit is true. I don't get through it. I'm, you I'm live into a mob, nephew. You believe in science? I'm an Aries. Auntie, I'm an Aries. I'm an Aries, right? I done basically done oh, dealt with signs that I shouldn't have been dealt with. It? No. It's like, what, what you so, Bito, let me ask you this. So, Bito, what it's sign? Like oh. So, it's certain signs that you just can't deal with, period. That's just automatically not going to work for you. Sagittarius, men, Libras. I don't like Libras either. Yeah, Libras be, Libras be doing too much. Oh, uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, that's that's the fuck? You women, women, women. I say women. I, I don't know. Women, women. Like, so Y'all might want to edit this shit out. I'm just yeah. saying, it's not, we'll edit nothing on fat nasty. Give it to you, bro. Like, what's up? Let's talk about me. What? Like, what? Do you, what signs I can't deal with? Spectrum. Libras. Okay. What else? Libras. Wanna ask another one? Libras. <laughs> okay, Amadi, Amadi, you said sign. <laughs> what sign you don't deal with Amadi? I don't, I don't like Sagittarius. For real, sis, Sagittarius ain't that bad, girl. We the same. Yeah. Stick with me, sis. Sagittarius huh? ain't that bad, girl. Mm mm. I daddy yeah, myself. Sagittarius never again. You know what? what? I, you want? You know what I'm gonna tell you is a good sign for us, though, girl. I ain't gonna Virgo. hold that. Hell no, them oh. they fucked up. The last six months of the year is fucked up. Listen. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Respect on my shit. I'm a Scorpio. Put some that shit up. Oh, no, I'll give it. Yeah, Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio. Scorpio. I like Scorpio. Scorpio is okay. Yeah. And cancer. Scorpio. Do not sleep on cancers, girl. I've never really met a cancer. Okay. Yeah. You got to meet a cancer, girl. <laughs> two of my, be two of my best cancer. friends are cancers. One of my husbands is cancers. Two of my baby daddies is cancer. Girl, <laughs> you got a baby, <laughs> how you got a how you got baby daddy issues and no baby? <laughs> my, my, my ex. That's the that 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 really shit I ever heard. How you got baby mama issues and no baby, nigga? Yeah. Hey, yeah what's the question? What's the question? What's the question y'all want to do? What, go ahead. What's the question? Uh, a question we afraid to ask. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Where your doctor's papers at? I need to see them. Where your what? Yeah. Are you afraid to ask? Your paperwork. I, I, need paperwork. Paperwork. I need to see the last time you got tested. I need to see the results. Because they don't be going. Oh. Oh. You're afraid to ask? Go. Okay, so I you're afraid. You gotta go. We can go together. Shit, that's what you're supposed to tell them. <laughs> Make it a date, huh? Let's, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Why you afraid? Grab her hand, on like this. Why are you afraid to ask that? I'm just saying in general, I'm not afraid to ask that because if you if I plan on having sex with you or we have a sexual, I want to see your papers, baby. I, I got every right to know. Like, well, that question don't count because if you ain't afraid to ask, that's something. But you'll some ask. girls are afraid to ask. I'm speaking for oh, the why? women in the world. Let's speak from you, we need to know what you're afraid to ask. Ask the P. We miss. You got three men right here. What's a question that you don't like to ask men that you would like to ask and get an answer to? Come back to me. <laughs> Come back you to me. Let me you, say. AJ, you scared, AJ? No, I'm not. I ain't you scared of that nice. You, you got to go get you a dog. That's why I said come back to me because I got to think of a question I would actually be scared of. Bobby, it's on you. What you got, Bobby? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> The girl, I, I, got all these I, I ask these things what the fuck is going on. I don't know. What am I scared to ask him? What's the question you're asking, nigga? What's some shit you ask a nigga that a blunt question, though? Like yeah. a blunt, some That's shit that make a nigga look at you and be like, bitch, you just asked me that. Can you pay hey, you gay. for the next year? Oh, for some shit. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? No, because I think the niggas I fuck with usually not going, but I don't know. But you never know. So, let's talk. so but, listen, let me let me, let me put this let me put this disclaimer out. Like, ask not just no question, just a random nigga or no trick or a nigga who you just you meet somebody that you're interested in. He had the same interest. You fucking with the nigga. You see some type of potential. What is something that you would like to ask this man that you normally 
won't ask them. Even when you like somebody and you into them, it's what some type I of... Ask him? So I'm what would probably... you... That you really be wanting to know that you told me, so if you're like, girl, it's something of, uh, I want to... Uh, I don't know. Uh, what is it? Shit. You want to get married? Yeah. That's what you're you asking? Get married? You want to get married today or tomorrow? I think would you, would you, today or tomorrow. I mean, do you want to get married? Like, is you trying to get married or are you just trying, like, what you trying to do? That's some real <laughs> shit that I'd be scared to ask. That's some real shit that I'd be scared to ask niggas. If you ask a nigga that, they'd be, scared. They'd be like, oh, this bitch is trying to get married. Yeah, I am, but. But, but I'm talking about as soon as you meet, you ain't act like as soon as you're like, yo, he gonna look at you. So why you, you want? Like I don't want to ask a nigga that. I want to. I need to know now right? if you the marrying type, bro. I need to know. I'm at the age. I need to know you the marrying type or not. What you want to do? Okay, I got plans right. for you. So your question, I think you the question, plans question for you. I probably <laughs> is like, what is something negative that people as a collective say about you? Like, Ooh. what is something you've heard over and over again from different people that's negative about you? Girl, like, but these niggas know. be delusional. They be girl <laughs> delusional. Niggas be oh, everybody delusional. say I'm a cheater. No, no, no. Everybody say like I'm this, or I'm that. Okay, so say, say, so say he say you ask him that, he tell you like, yo, when people say I'm a cheater, but I ain't really like that. It's just like yo, it is what it is. So do you take that answer and put it in your own perspective, or you take it for what everybody else saying and be like, all right, fuck it. I'm done. I can't fuck. They saying you a cheater. You so, must be. Okay, so if he say, oh, I'm a cheater, you go, okay, well, I need the last three relationships you don't been in, because now I need to talk to these people. I need to know what happened, what's going on, what type of person I'm dealing with. Like, now I got to do research. Now I got to You about to really do that? Ass. You really about to do that background check like that for real? Hell oh, yeah. I and and I'm, I'm going to send my, my, my homegirl did it for me. Asked, so. You know what's a question? did it before me. Why, why, why do women not even? I, I want it's like it's a two way part of this shit. Cause it's like, yo, I want to say, why do y'all fuck with emotion, or why is it that y'all can't like, or can you fuck without emotion? Okay, I have said. Mm. I, I mm. mm. mm -hmm. Go ahead, baby girl. Go ahead, baby girl. I feel like no matter what, it's some type of emotion. It just is, it depends on the extent oh it goes. Because I've had a friend with benefits, and when we would hang out and we'll do whatever we did, I would tell him, "Don't call me till I call you." Like I don't want to talk to you until I call you. Like don't do that. And he ended up falling in love. Like he wasn't going for none of that. He calling, he texting. I want to see you. I don't want to see you until I want to see you type thing. So, like, you can have it, but it's a certain type of emotion. Like, you still got to be attracted to them. You still got to, like, want to be around them type thing. But I don't have to actually, like, be in love with you or want to be in a relationship with you type thing. So, so it's possible for you to have sex without emotion or anything like that? Yeah, especially if you're drunk. No, stop. Huh? That drunk is in there, so. drunk, drunk I, I got to do it. I'm drunk not talking about it. But you, I, 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 I got you, girl. No, it does. It does. I mean, that's me a question. Drunk, being drunk, that's not your true mind. You doing shit out of out of an action and a and a feeling. So let's talk about just us, you yourself. It's like your thought, what you can think. Cause it's like yo, you could be drunk and get that, and then wake up and say, "Oh, I got raped." So it's like yo, we're gonna talk about the drunk shit. We gonna talk about you as an individual. My answer is yeah. Bitches is still waking up talking about they got raped. So right. you can fuck when they not drunk. That's what I'm saying. That is fucked up. Bitches said when they not drunk. Bitches talking about after sixty years that they got raped. They remember shit that happened in nineteen eighty two. Some of them really be victims though. Yeah, fuck we, out gonna, we gonna put a disclaimer. Some, some okay. of them really be disclaimer. Victims. Yeah. So, because yeah. I because yeah. I'm a I'm a sister of two brothers. I wish the fuck you would, bitch. You got the okay. Oh home. mamas. Oh mamas. <laughs> so I got number women too, in my I family. I got two brothers too. Right. Right, let me right. Right. you got the show me, girl. I don't play that. Yeah, I know my brother ain't do. Listen, I'm not playing that. Number women in my family. They got a sister. I know. Yeah. I, well, I don't know. I don't know. Some of these niggas are fucked up in here. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 roofies and all that. Yeah. But Wait, look, what? So what? What was you saying, Rich? Oh, so yeah, let's get back to it. Before I go into that, you said so. 
it is, but that was my question. I had those two, but the first part was, can you have sex if you're interested with somebody without emotion or any type of attachment? You said yes, right? Yes. Okay, so Bobito, same thing to you. It shouldn't be the same thing to me. No, so that's what I was, you said the woman, the question I would like to ask a woman. I would want to know, because it's like, yo, with niggas, okay. Wait, what's your question? What's the question? Ask would the you question. Be able I'm to sorry. have sex, emotion, any type of feelings with sex. Would I with be able to have sex without any emotion? Yeah, anything attached. I'm talking about not just a one time, one night stand. It's like, yo, it's a frequent thing, or it's like, yo, some we have our understanding. This is what it is. No, I could not have sex without emotion. Nobody could. No, not without emotion. Like, let me take that back with emotion. Cause okay. But if you have some type What's of question. But if feeling, affection, or some type of entitlement. Wait, what? Like we need a title on what we well, do? Would you be able to just get your rocks off with a name? Like, yo, listen, we fucking. This like is the vibe. We're Trying fucking. To we're together. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm That's really Period. Actually, I got a question. Let me hear. I got a question. I got a question. So, like, so, for example, right? What if it's what if you vibing with a dude, right? Mm -hmm. Mentally, he 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 there with you. He conversation is good. He keep himself up. He got manners. Physically, he there. Oh, but y'all, but no. But I'm saying, but y'all haven't put a title on it. But you like, you know what? The way he act, the way he move, he make me so comfortable that. Okay, you know what? Uh, you know, we went to Ruth Chris. You know, he dropped on the steak. Okay, come on. Come up and have a little coffee right quick. Come up. Let me come holler at you. Together, you don't want to like you. We're together and we're fucking. <laughs> if, we're if we're vibing that hard, we're together and we're fucking. Vito, Here. you're a liar. You another. Listen, so every nigga you don't spend. <laughs> every what? Every nigga you don't gave some pussy, been your man. You a fucking liar, son. <laughs> you are not her. So the so the nigga who had the family and all that was your man. She thought he was. Oh, man. You was seen it? the? Don't do that because you seen the fucking video. Don't do that. Was y'all? Yeah, you know, was y'all? Was cool. Was so, so listen, see, I ain't even gonna do you like that, scrap, because you my dog for sure. You know? Don't do me. Don't do me. Like that. <laughs> it's getting real over here. You know, I know the vibe. Well, this shit is coming out. This shit is coming. Yeah, out. I, yeah I, listen. I'm, okay, I'm, let's get into it. Come on, let's get into it. Go, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Everything you don't have sex with has not been your man. In my eyes, yes, they were. <laughs> okay, see, see, baby. Okay, so you asking my question? Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Hey, Jay, you ever had a one night stand? Mm-mm. Okay. You ever fucked a nigga one time and it was just like, yo, I'm done. I'm not giving you no more pussy. Mm-mm. Oh, so everybody is a double back. <laughs> they always come back. Right. No, it ain't oh. about always. Okay, oh. so you, okay, so this is, let me ask you this. So you said they always come back. So you giving niggas benefit of doubt. So even if sex is bad, you still let a nigga get it again. No, hell no, nah, but I've never experienced that. So, I also, all the sex you have been good sex. Hey, hey. No, I'm saying I've never had bad sex. Like, I've never oh, experienced bad hey, sex. Hey, hey, like, hey, hey, hey. What's your type, girl? You like big niggas? <laughs> <laughs> you like big niggas, girl? <laughs> yeah, yeah, my boy, my boy, bullshit. It's my bullshit. Yo, yo, AJ G shit, right here to the sky. No, never no bad sex. For real. Man, yeah, how many niggas you have sex with then? Seven. Oh, okay. Fourteen? <laughs> <laughs> he doubled Easy. the number. <laughs> 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 
That was you cute. Got to too, man. You got to talk to too. <laughs> Wait, come on. Here's the question. Yeah, do motherfuckers really still ask that? Like, what's your number? No, they don't. They no, don't. no, oh, okay. no, hell no. It's old that shit. Don't matter, no, I, I, that was when you was under 18, 17. Oh, right. Back in those still. days. That's when you was under 17, 18. You really want to know that she fucked one of your men, so you don't try to get it out of her. Right, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. right. Yo, right, you really you got, and she keep dodging. You, you really want to be like, did you fuck my son, man? I just need to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Yo, so look, so that kind of brings us into the second joint of what, what we told, because it's like, yo, when it comes to how many niggas, because with a woman being like, yo, okay, I don't really care about how many niggas she fucked versus then a nigga, a female. Double standards, basically. Yeah, double standards. What's your, what's your, what's your definition of double standards? Man, uh, I, 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 don't, ahead, I, don't like, I don't like double standards for women. I don't like double standards. What do you consider a double standard, though? My, uh, the example, the example yeah. I always yeah, yeah, use, yeah. right? The example I always use is with Rihanna. Everybody be like, oh, Rihanna talks to ASA Rock, Rihanna talks to Woo, Rihanna talks to Woo. I'm like, so she a hoe because she's doing what niggas do. I already said it. You said what? You know what I'm saying? Like, no. like if a female, if a female being a player on her player stuff, like a dude is, she a hoe. You know what I mean? Standard. Like how? That's a double standard, especially if she classy about it. And at the same time, like a lot of people assume like, oh, she dealing with all these dudes. She hitting all these dudes. She necessarily do not got to be hitting them dudes, bro. You know what I'm saying? No. So I, I don't, I don't like double standards. I don't, I don't, I don't like that. She went out to dinner mom. with one nigga, went to the strip club with the next nigga. And now I'm and, fucking them both. Exactly. And, the, and no, the, no, nigga, the, the nigga, the nigga that she's fucking is with. the one that's giving bread. That's the one that's paying the rent. He got the car note. That's the, that's the person she's probably going for. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, the nigga that I'm not posting, not seen with. That's the nigga I'm sleeping with. I ain't posting no nigga anyway, so it's like you would never know. But see, no, you know what? She be chipping up. She okay, be chipping up. Well, 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 I think anything was a pussy. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. He got that head of the light. Hey. <laughs> but no, what? like, like, you got to look at to the motherfuckers that they not posting. Like, mm -hmm. pay attention to the motherfuckers. Like, the no, folks that they are posting. Hold up, B. You giving out too much game. They gonna catch okay. all this. No, give it out. No, for real. You, you no, do? Okay, no. okay. I've been drinking. See, you getting on water. Oh, thank you. They sipping on our tinctures. They gonna start. They gonna start putting us on bed. Oh, so my, I ain't gonna say none else. I ain't gonna say none else. Niggas, Bobby, you believe in double standards? Do I believe in double standards? Yeah. No, I feel like anything a guy can do, I can do this shit. It's my life. Mama's. Be real, y'all. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Want me to go? It's double standards in life. It's certain shit that you can't come back from, and it's just a double standard. For instance, I cannot go be with a nigga and come back and try to get married and change my life. It's over. You know what I'm saying? You can go mess with a girl and go back, get back right, and mm -hmm. have a new. That's a double standard, y'all. Until yeah. you meet that girl yeah. that don't. Will you put it in that? Yeah. It's some girls what? out here, y'all. I know don't another, you. You say you know the word another, then, friend. You know another one that's fucked up? What's another what? one? How they say every man is supposed to get down on his knee and propose to a woman when he feel like it's time. But why can't a woman say, yo, I want to marry you and propose? Get out the fucking way. I ain't going to right. right. feel right. I ain't going to feel right. Rich, I ain't going to feel right. I ain't going to feel right. right. But that's the same thing. No, okay, 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 listen. Okay, no. so a woman can say, "Oh, I want to marry him," et cetera, et cetera, but the guy is supposed to ask her to marry Why? him. Because that's what you've been. That's, I mean, that's, that's been, in the Bible. That's what's been nailed in your head. That was written too by men. That's what's been. No, in listen. I, I I agree with you on that on that point too. But Rich, but like this, that's one of the things I'm gonna draw the line on. Like. Look, I'm going to tell you every night, look, you know I want to get married. What you going to do? 
Right. I'm because so why, if we keep why, asking you to marry us and then we get on our knees, so tell you don't so tell me. you. All right. So look, tell me this. Y'all said, I want to know. I want to ask the nigga, how much money you made? How much money you got? Can you pay my rent? Can you pay my Say this the nigga who pay your bills. He pays your rent. He does everything for you. All you do is you at home, you take care of home. So it's like, yo, he doing everything. That's a to job, work. too. That's a fucking oh, look, job, too. He already, swept, he already swept you off your feet and saw you. Like, yo, okay, this is what I do. For a whole month, that's like, a fucking this, job. Just hold on. This is the thing I'm fucking with. Why can't you be like, yo, you know what? I'm about to propose to this nigga. Because <laughs> what happens with a man? He's like, yo, this woman does this, 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 and this for me. She makes me feel this, 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 this way. She does this, 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 and this. So everything that she needs and wants. And it's like, okay, I'm about to propose to her. But then when it's on the other foot, and this nigga doing everything for you and making you everything, why can't you be like, yo, you know what? Damn. Let me hey, look, propose to this nigga. Hey, look, we all see I'm the wife and he's the husband, right. not he's the wife and I'm the husband. Like, right. I don't worry about that. You want your wife to propose to I'm you? I'm not going to. I'm not really into the marriage thing. Like I'm that. just saying, if you was getting married, would you want your wife to get on one knee? I don't know how I would really feel. Like, if it was to happen, you gonna feel like a bitch. That's what you gonna feel like. You gonna feel, and I'm gonna okay. treat you like a bitch. Nah, nah. nah. <laughs> see, look, see, that, I'm, I'm, gonna nah, like bro, I'm not. Nah. I'm gonna treat you like nah. a whole hoe. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna treat you like a whole hoe. If I'm doing that, I'm gonna treat you like a whole hoe. How you treat him like a hoe? He's a winner, and then if you win, it's over for you. Look, who? If you talk about you want to know, look, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna even hold you. Like, I done did some shit for some nick, like, and I treat them niggas like hoes. <laughs> yeah, but some niggas I done did some shit like for. Like, I treat you like a hoe, nigga. You are only nigga. I treat them like a hoe. I treat like you like a bad bitch, nigga. Like, but, 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 if she proposes to you, if she, if you got your man, my listen, look, my you thing is, holding, I, you're not my man to me. You are hoe. I'm gonna get married, and my wife damn should like propose to me. I'm not. I'm not, say, I'm not saying. Yeah. I'm not saying that. I'm saying like when it comes to double. If standards. I propose to a nigga, he's a hoe to me. He is a hoe, a whole hoe. I don't feel like I don't feel like that's double standards. I feel like what is right and what is wrong, and that is just wrong. Like that's wrong all the way. Yeah, come on. So a man, so a man fucking on a man and doing that—that's not wrong. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Huh? I don't think that's wrong. For me, that cool. is wrong. I know some people that you, know, you have it. people that accept it. Yeah, you have people that accept stuff like that. But it's like you can't come back from that with no man. Like once you step over that guideline, it's over. You can't come back and get married. But y'all could do that. Y'all can go mess with girls and come back and be I know, and I know, life know. I know some there. bitches that go for fucking that that's, I know some bitches that I'm fuck saying. with men that fuck with men. Like I know y'all do too. I do too. Oh, no. I know I do too. personally. That's shit wicked. Well, no, it's you very know what? I'm not gonna. They fuck with men allegedly. Man, that's your way. Ain't no man in no room or no woman to say that you even think that you do or any of that. When it's room, listen, that's, listen. Saying, that's what's going if on. If I, if I, if I have to propose to a man, yeah, I'm done. So, so, so you like, so I'm like, this. like a hoe. You this is another double standard. This is another double standard. Right? That's crazy. What? Right, right. So, listen. If 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 two niggas, because you know we had this conversation, if two niggas run a train on you, you a hoe. If two if a nigga fuck two yeah. girls, that's a threesome. It's a double standard. That is a double standard. But I yeah. feel like I, yeah. I feel like if time out, time out, time out. Is it? Mm, I don't know what kind. Of, yeah. Okay. If you get a train yeah. ran on you, it's you not, a hoe. If you. Not, Run a train on a hoe, you get it. <laughs> you said you run a train on a hoe, you what? You gay. <laughs> Everybody in there sword fighting and shit, you gay. <laughs> Y'all niggas is gay. She got a point, dog. He My gay what? ass manager, he gonna say something about this shit. He gonna be mad. My manager is gonna be mad at me about this. But listen, nigga. Y'all running the train on the hole, y'all gay. That's not true. 
Oh, big night, big so, night, uh, big night. Uh, why, why is it that you say that? Why is it, what makes it gay? Because we had we had this conversation before. Sword fighting. What are y'all doing? Oh. Pulling out your swords together. No, listen, why are you doing sword fighting together in a sexual environment? This is a sexual environment, and your swords are out, my nigga. This ain't the dressing room. This ain't the gym. This ain't no. Y'all niggas is thinking about sex. Sex is on the brain, and your swords is out. Your niggas is gay. Period. That's not true. That's not true. Big we, night. Are, it's not true. Big bro. night, bro. So if y'all niggas is on the train, y'all niggas is gay. If the bitch hey. is in the train ran on her, she's a hoe. That's all hey. facts to me. Say, say, say. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't never. I ain't it's never sad. wanted to. I, it, that, that's. She got a point. I no, she didn't have a point. I done been in train before. And me and the nigga ain't looking at each other. I done been in train before. And me and the nigga is definitely not looking at each other. Well, you like the sword fight. That's cool. That's nah, cool, man. I, I ain't gonna call you gay. You like the sword fight. It's cool. Got it. Loaded. Nigga like the sword fight. Hey, God, you got to pick up fuck all the way up, man. That's what you're looking at. You fuck up. And then drink your wine now. Nate, 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 you sword fighting, nigga. You sword fighting, yo. Yo, let me get in. Let me get in. Y'all in there sword fighting. Nah, you like that. Let me get my turn. My shit is longer, my nigga. Let me get in. Y'all in there sword fighting, my nigga. Sword fighting, my nigga. Yo, first of all, you is not measuring no nigga meat white. I don't know. I don't know what happens in there. Do y'all do brush past each other going through the door? Like, doorways ain't that big, my nigga. Like, what's going no. on? Like, <laughs> everybody <laughs> sitting Indian style what the fuck up. you talking about? Like, is everybody sitting Indian style standing up? Like, how does it go? Like, y'all brush past each other walking through the doorway? Like, what happened? I don't know. Explain to me what happened. I put myself. Huh? I do that Explain shit. what happened. Y'all brush past each other. Like, huh? But I mean, yo, Riley, you never been in a train before? No, I never had -uh. the I most. No, and that shit look gay. Be no, I, I've yeah. seen uh -uh. porn before. The orgies uh -uh. look gay. Those niggas be -uh. Be -uh. Like, how you fucking in the same room with another nigga? That shit is weird. That shit is weird. Until he, oh, until he asked me. Until he asked me. Yeah. Okay. Ah, damn. You mad? Like, I didn't get into her. You mad because y'all niggas yeah. were sport fighting? I'm sorry. Nah, I'm done. Get this shit out, though. Don't get this shit. No, I'm just kidding. I love y'all. I love y'all to death. Bisto, we about to mute you. <laughs> oh, because I'm speaking I... facts? Because y'all niggas no, were sport so, fighting? We're not speaking over each other. He asked him a question. You keep talking. Thank you. Yes, so I was saying, I was saying the most I ever did was a hotel room, double bed, and we had our own. We ain't never, I ain't never ran no train no female. Wait, no. okay, but here's the other thing: like, so you was in a room with another nigga. Would you high five them or like how did that? No, 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 no. Would y'all mind me? I'm mind my business. I'm mind my. I don't. I don't. I mind my business. I was. I was so on. I'm like, man. Come me to bathroom. I was so on it. I do make love. Huh? Yeah, you don't gotta explain. You comfortable? Just say you know you ain't no. Home. I know I ain't never did no gay shit. Right, so I I be focused on mine. Your perspective of what's going on. Your perspective. You can't. I be with. Hey, that's just how. I, that's my perspective, and that's how I. I feel, feel you, Auntie. I, I know, Auntie. Anybody else in the room? Yeah, I, I did it before. They wouldn't know, you feel me? They wouldn't. It was. Yeah, so that's her respect. That's her respect. She not, she can't judge you. Everybody got an no opinion, man. Everybody got But I am a G. I know. I know what you said, T. I know. Hey, I'm telling I've been a G. I was born a G. <laughs> Wait, okay. So, Nate, tell me what happened during this train. I just, now that we adults, I know some hoes that got trains ran on me. I know some hoes. I do too. On. I do too. So I, just it's explain so. to me, like, how did this happen? Like, niggas walked all the way out the room. Niggas tag team. Like, how did it go? Like, what was the exchange? Why, I'm a sneak in and act like you're not. You, you, you just, you just said, you just said, how you, why you want to know how it go? And you just said niggas is sword fighting. That was, that was a joke. Right. Niggas is sword fighting. That's, that's my thing. That's my theory. That's my theory. That is my. That's, theory. A, that's a bad theory that you got right there. 
Why? I dare sure, I dare sure ain't sword fight with a nigga or look at him, man. I done ran some trains in my life. We about to run her. But like, run her. how did it go though? Like nobody touched anything. Some nigga, one nigga might be getting some head, the other nigga might be hitting from the back. That's an orgy, not a train. That's a train. That's an orgy. That's a threesome. So look, that's a threesome, so look, so look, bro. So look, so look. That's that a train. train. But look, that already not shows a train. that's your perspective. A train is choo choo. Now you think that's the orgy? Choo choo. Have you been in an orgy before, then, Bobby? You been in an orgy? She ain't never put the money in the same room. No, no, I've seen it on porn. I don't really know how it goes. Oh, okay. I've seen it on porn. That's the thing. I can't have sex with somebody else in the room. Like, that shit is. You're not going to get the word trade on porn. That comes from a term of what niggas do around. That's just a common term. And as far as. You know, and and Bobby, Bobby, to be real, if you're watching porn, porn take that shit a little bit too far. Because me and a nigga ain't going to never be in this. It's going to be like. She, I'm not about to be. She's not about to be riding him, and I'm hitting it from the back. That shit dead. Yeah. If I'm gonna be getting some head, I'm hitting it. We're we're not gonna be. But the is same. that not a threesome? That's a toe toe. That's a you talking about? That's a threesome. Okay, but a train. A okay, train so you've been in a threesome, another, right? You've been in a threesome before. So you've been in a threesome, then, Beto. Been in a threesome. Yeah, you yes, you have. Big breath. Yeah. Did you? Did you? Did you, did you no, Oh, something Bobby? <laughs> yeah. Never. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Jay. Hey, Jay. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. What you think? Two niggas and a girl. That's it. That's gay. No, I don't think that's gay. Okay. Right. So do you think it's I'm a starting, threesome? Hey, girl. I'm starting to like you, you a little bit more. Do you think it's a threesome or what? Or a train? No, I definitely think it's a threesome. Oh, so I feel two? like a train is more than two guys. Oh, okay. A train is one right uh, after another. That's how trains so AJ, right. AJ, Would that be too personal to ask you, have you ever been in one of them situations? Have I ever had sex with two guys at the same time? I yeah. should have been with seven niggas. 14, my bad. Huh? Mm. I just went <laughs> seven. She only slept with two people, right? AJ, I'm fucking with you. You said seven. I'm sticking with your, thinking with your <laughs> Michael Vick. I'm sticking with your Vick. Girl, why did no. you even give them people a number? I, I don't it's care. That's like, I'm, I mean, I'm not a but what I've, oh, I've done, so it is what it is. I mean, this is on my YouTube channel, so. So what, what was the answer? You said no, right? No, hell no. I ain't never had sex with it at the same you time. You ever mess with girls? You or Bobby? Have I, wait, what? Ever mess with girls? I've gotten hair from a girl, but I've never, like, Oh. Return the favor. <laughs> Did you like it? Did you like it? it was so, okay. so, I was drunk. so AJ, see what I'm saying? You got hair from a girl, and you can go get married and live happily ever after. A dude <laughs> can't get married from a dude and go live his life. Uh, okay, <laughs> but dumb. still, a guy can come and ask his girl, "Let's have a threesome." But a girl can't be like, "Let's have a threesome," but I want another nigga. Like. Oh, nah, 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 yeah, that's out. That's out. That's out. That's out. Y'all be listening to that shit? Listen Wait, what? what? Y'all ever heard the second? Nah, you gotta be a, Bobby. You don't live in Atlanta no more. It's called Second Day Update. It be on the radio in the morning time. Y'all ever heard that before? No. Second day. I've actually been on that. Oh, for real? Oh, 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 oh man. Oh, man. Oh, man. She's so cute. Listen, listen, listen. I can't even say nothing because I signed a non disclosure. <laughs> oh, you can't say nothing? Damn. You signed a non Oh, damn. You that? <laughs> I signed a non disclosure. Okay, so now, tell me this. So, after, when they call you, do you know you're about to be on the phone? That conversation about to happen? Um, oh, you can't no, talk about it. I'm I, just, I mean, I don't even know how to. I can say to y'all on that show, don't believe everything you hear. Everything not real. Oh. That's what I can say. Uh-huh. Oh, fuckers want that $100. Wait, that is it like a show? All right, so all right, so Bobby, this is showing Atlanta that young jock short. I've short actually been on that shit three times. So damn, oh, oh you the chosen one, girl. 
No, no, no. Bobby, how much, how much Bobby, stuff you be getting into? So, oh, Bobby, this is what it'll be, Bobby. Let me tell you. So, let me tell you. So, all right. So, for instance, right, I'll call into the radio station and be like, yo, yo, I want I want to know if y'all can call Amadi J. I've been looking for her. Me and her went on a date a couple times, and I haven't heard from her in a couple days. And she and they'll be like, so what you think you did? I'll be like, I don't know what I did. Shit, I just remember the last day we was on. Or I took her to, uh, maybe I said the last time we was at my house, she came to the house, she walked in, then she just left, and I never heard from her again. <laughs> then Jocelyn would be like, all right, well, I'm going to try to get her on the phone. So they call her on the phone, they'll be like, Amari J. And they'll be like, be like, be like, hello, who is this? they will be like, well, you got anything going on right now? <laughs> they should be like, um, nah, but who is this? they be like, well, this young job from, from people, you know, whatever radio station. And, we, and, you know, we got this show called Second Day Update, and my nigga Nate looking for you. Like, can you tell us what happened with you and Nate? And she'll be like, oh, I got the Nate house, and Nate had roaches. And that shit, and that shit was a deal breaker or some shit like that. So, But the whole time, she don't know Nate listening on the phone, and I'm sitting there listening to it. I'm like, damn, she, that's why she went out my house, because she seen a couple of roaches and something. So I'm listening to everything she's saying about him. And then she'll be like, oh, and then he took me in the bathroom, and he pulled his dick out, and it was small or something. She can say all this, but I can't tune in until she finished talking about me. So Not after good. that... They'll be like, hey, Amadi, well, we got Nate on the phone. And Nate be like, damn, Amadi, damn, you could just keep it real with me and let me know what's going on. Da, da, da. Now, if we if we said we're going to get back together and go on another date to give us $100, but we don't, then they curve us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What? So I done heard some funny ass stories on that shit. That's why that shit kind of funny. Right, and you've been on there twice? Three. Three. You were a third. You were three of them. Oh my Man. God! It don't always be it's, bad. It's pure entertainment, it's, y'all. It's, it's pure entertainment, and, it's, and it don't always be bad. Sometimes be the girl curved the nigga, and the nigga just be want to know what's up, or she got curved by the nigga and want to know what's up. Yeah, like uh, I'm gonna give y'all one I heard. One was a girl was like, "Yeah, I seen this nigga. I met him. He was cool. Duh, 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 duh. He invited me out to the strip club. When he invited me, no, he like he called on the phone like, "Yeah, man, I'm looking for an old girl. Last time I seen her, we was at the strip club together, and she never pulled back up." They call old girl like, damn, so what happened? He said, she was like, man, this nigga put up in a forerunner with no windows in that motherfucker, some shit like that. Like, <laughs> yeah, it'll be some shit like that. And he'll be just listening to this shit. The shit kind of funny, though. They come on the radio station in the morning time. One of the funniest ones I heard, yeah, we go. She said, it was a shorty, what a nigga. He called her, was like, yo, I met the girl, we went on a date. He was like, yo, I met her at a stoplight. We went on a date, it was cool. You know saying, but I know. Yeah, he said he met her in traffic. Like, yo, I met her. He was driving. It's like, yo, well, what happened? So they called her. <laughs> and she, he was like, yo. <laughs> they called her. Like, well, well, we got so and so. Like, you want to know? She was like, well, I met him. At, yeah, at the, um, in traffic. He was in the H3 Hummer. You know what I'm saying? He in the Hummer, the big boy. I'm in my whip. I see him. He pulled the window down. We exchanged numbers. He invited me on a date. So she's like, yeah, we go on a date. She was like, I'll pull up. And we get to the date, and she said, yo, this nigga like four, three, four, five. <laughs> <laughs> the tallest black man. He said, yo, I ain't know he was short. He pull up in the H3 Hummer. I'm just big, sitting up. So she like, yo, she thought a nigga was a big nigga. Yeah, what the fucking, what year was this? They ain't made Hummers in so fucking long. Well, H3 shit. It's still look good, though. It's still so big. She said she pull up, the nigga was mad little. She said the whole date was Oh, he was little. Yeah, he was a little yeah. nigga. You know, so she like, yo, he reached over for she like, she got a bend. She like, yo, it just was weird. So he was like, I'm not a midget. I'm just, yo, he had a word for it. This shit was funny. I'm like, wow, wow. that shit was hilarious because I know how I be. And I'm like, he pulled up like, he up, he's styling, he driving the boss whip. He see her, he like, yo, what's good? <laughs> he like, yo, what's up? Gave her a number, they just text it now. She don't know how she just seen the whip. Like, yo, well, meet me at Houston. They get the Houston, this nigga, three feet deep. <laughs> it's a cold world we live in. That's a fun world. It's an evil world. Dang. Oh, my God. So, y'all don't believe in double standards then? So, double standards, y'all don't believe in? Um, yeah, I don't a little know. bit. I don't, believe, I don't like them. Because y'all see it from y'all perspective. Yeah, I guess. 
agree with something, you got to take it to the full extent. You can't say, yeah, but I fuck with it on this, on this standpoint, but I don't fuck with it on that. You got to fuck with it all, all the way around. What? I don't know. No, for no. real. That's how I do it. We agree. That's what anything. That's just like, yo, with your religion or anything goes. If you fuck with something, you believe in something. You believe it because that's the true definition of what it is. I don't, I, I don't deal with religion, OG. I ain't gonna lie to you. Religion I'm, is too I much. You, I'm with you, to... nephew. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, don't believe in, I ain't no religious nigga. I don't believe in religion um, either. That's a whole other time. Yeah. I but I, I, I feel like double standard. I feel like they, 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 they come in place because of like how we look at women. Because it's just like when you look at a woman, you look at a woman as like something classy, vulnerable. You know what I'm saying? We hold women to such a high standard. So it's like women are so limited on what they should do or what they should be doing when in real life, you feel what I'm saying? If it, it, you look, motherfuckers just look at what she's doing instead of how she's doing it. So it's just like, that's why I feel like double standards are just so messed up because it's like, bro, like, how you, know, you, know, say you, know sad, you know what's the sad truth about all of that? And what you say, how we raise and we look at women as a man and how we raise, we spoke, the woman is supposed to be like that. But at the end of the day, if we talk about we equal, the women and the man as an individual, as a human, could do what they do. So, but how we exactly. raise that they only supposed to do this certain shit. We look at them differently when they do it. But it, when they, in all yeah. actuality, we ready to talk like that. And we just be like, yo, let's just grow up and be who you are. And motherfuckers do what they do. You going to accept it. It ain't no, right. oh, I'm fucking with that. It's just like, yo, we so, it's what get programmed in you. And they tell you this your whole life. Like, yo, this ain't supposed to happen. Your shorty ain't supposed mm-hmm. to be that. So it's like, yo. It's damn near like it was control in a sense. Yeah, but I ain't, now you can't say you control. Exactly. I mean, but that's if it's put into, if your parents raise it like, yo, you know what? This is what you play. If you don't do that, da da da, from your growing up, and this is what you see it do, you, it, that's already in you, like, oh, that's what's supposed to be happening. That's programming. Yeah, programming. what's right? Programming. Regardless yeah. you know it or not, if that's what you see and know. I don't what? believe, all right, so I don't believe it's programming because, like, all right, for instance, me and Richard mm-hmm. both got to do So you telling me, the shit that the game that I'm gonna give my daughter, I'm definitely programming her to be so far some fucking body that's in it, that that's gonna be right in the world. So I'm that's gonna what, program her to be that's like that. That's what I'm yeah, saying. yeah. That's program that's her to be like that. That's why it's it's building you from the B. This is what you're supposed to do and do. But at the end of the day, it's looked upon. Not saying it's right or wrong, because I don't want a woman to do it either. At the end of the day, how it goes on. But how it, it's perceived and accepted. So they look at it as like yo. You're not supposed to be there, but not knowing that some women may love off of this is the way he was treating me. Like, damn, he treated and did this for me. I'm fucking, I'm gonna give him my all because this is how I'm being treated. And then she get treated, he do her wrong because they ain't right there, but she still gave her all just because, damn, he made me feel this way. It's like, yo, but this is what I did. And she don't, you might not learn your lesson for 10 years down the line. Like, damn, it took me 10 years to really understand and know that, oh, I ain't supposed to be doing that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yo. If you don't instill in them to, to know that, it's like, yo, you can't blame them for that. You know what I'm saying? But how we programmed and what we learned, that's what I'm saying. The world is fucked up. It's fucked up. Like, you can't knock nobody or blame nobody. That's why, like, yo, even when it comes to how we were talking about the number on women, you can't judge no woman about her past. How many motherfuckers she done dealt with a dead? That shit I mean, you don't, you don't do it now because you're older, but back in the days, niggas did it. Yeah, yeah. Even, girl, even girls do it to girls. Girls see if a girl hear about her home girl being ran through by five or six niggas and she don't fuck seven niggas this week, they even look at their home girl as that. So that's not just a double standard from a dude. That's from a male, that's from a female standpoint. Like but if like a female looking up, at another female like that, it's like you being reckless. It's not even you being a hoe, like you just being out of control. Like, do you know what right. you're doing type thing? Like it's okay, you can do whatever you want in your life, but it's like me as your friend, I'm seeing you with this reckless behavior. Of course, I'm gonna be like, sis, what you doing? Like, what you got going on? Before it gets to a point where you can't return from. So. True. That, that's what I'm saying. But then that all comes from your upper. If we would, if women was raised on the same aspect of men, life would be so much different. They would say, yo, go do your thing. You're supposed to be fucking, yo, fucking on all these. This is what goes on. It'd be different if that was accepted. Like, yo, move just how a man move. Y'all equal status. 
You move how a man moves. You find that person that you really love, then you switch your life up and you fuck with him. But for the time being, do you and keep doing what you're doing. Be real. I ain't that telling my daughter no shit. No, like I know. That's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm telling you. That's what. That's the whole point. Is he proving my point more and more? It's how we was raised and for it to be saying. I'm not saying this right. I'm definitely not gonna tell my daughter to do that because that's not how I feel. But I'm just speaking in a sense of realistically. If we was raised to be like, yo. Y'all both equal. You're a man, she's a female. Do what you do. Love on who you love on. Fuck who you fuck do until you find that person you're really in tune with. Then you lock in. If you don't got straight morals and shit in tune, tapped into you early, you don't really know. You just gonna move how you move. Women yeah, get emotions I mean, all the time. Women are emotionally crazy. But, but, if a nigga make them feel like, oh, I'm giving him so he made me feel this way. But if you ain't being told like, nah, don't do this. This nigga ain't right. Nigga's gonna do this. They gonna play. They gonna make you feel this way, da da da. And they ain't on point. Then they got they put their guards up. But I can't. I, but one thing I can't say. I can't say that because if you think about it, because like everybody that was raised up to do something, they always they can stray another way. You can't say that niggas is just, just programmed to be that way. They stray other way. But the, when it comes to men and women, the way the world is set up, as far as men and women, the women you're not supposed to be out here. Fucking on multiple motherfuckers. That's never been acceptable. And men, yes, you can go and do that. If we was the raise, if it was it stated when we first came about that y'all had equal status, you could fuck on whoever you want to fuck on, and the man could fuck on whoever they want to fuck on. This it won't be judged like that. That's what I'm saying. Like, yo, when it's come, this has been implemented us from way back, way before our time. It's not saying that it's wrong because I like the way I'm glad you came to that. No, I'm just saying, just still. <laughs> in regards if I wasn't not, women still, but right now, what is it? Is it okay for women to go fuck 30 niggas and that's cool? Is it okay is for it a nigga to go fuck 30 n- bitches and that's cool? No. Yes. No. No. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, it, to no, you, that's, maybe, that's, but like to a female, that might not be okay. But look, but then when that's what I'm saying. So it you're nasty, nigga. You're nasty. Oh, nasty. But look, look, look. Okay. You're nasty. So look, and I need to see your papers. So listen, it takes for women. <laughs> Bring them out. Papers. Because you nasty. You them out. As, as a woman and you nasty. mature into a woman. Listen, so as you mature into a woman and you be like a woman and be like, okay, no, that's not cool for you to go and fuck on no, because as a woman, you feel like, damn. I wasn't, I couldn't do that. That's not cool. You shouldn't be doing it either. That's why I said my point more approved. If we was equally yo from the gate to be like, yo, it's okay. Cause in a man's perspective and in the society of men, when niggas is growing up, regardless of any nigga, you know, it's you supposed to be fucking on shorties. Like, yo, damn, if you fucking mother, you consider that even when we go back to, if a nigga fuck all three of the same joints in here in the room, if I was to do something with all both of y'all, I'm the man. But if y'all was to do something with multiple people in this chat, oh, you was a hoe. And that's only to like simmer down like how powerful women are. Like that's y'all way of making y'all selves feel more powerful. Because if women was to do that, y'all niggas be over here crying. Y'all be hurt crying. But look, fuck women, fuck love, all types of stuff. Like, <laughs> If she mine, yeah. I'm up the, window. the reason why a nigga would be upset is because what's been instilled, your woman not supposed to be doing that. If it was not supposed to be doing that. If a nigga was to be like equally ready, like yo, a woman could do the same way as a man could do, he's not thinking of that now. Cause it's like, yo, okay, shit. She spoke, she could do what she's doing until we find that vibe and do what we do. That's on us. But as far as when it comes to a man and a woman, a man is not looked at bad for fucking multiple bitches. Because sometimes women By like... Who, for, though? By who? Sometimes women like for her man to be... She would rather take a man who's experienced and knows what to do with the woman mm-hmm. versus he only been involved with two women. And then it comes to her like, damn, your sex is trash. You don't know how to touch me. You don't know how to, you don't know how to eat my pussy. You don't know how to do none of this. But damn, I fuck with you on every other vibe. Like, damn, but you don't know how to, you only fuck with two bitches, nigga? Like, damn, yeah, what's teachable? They say teachable. <laughs> they, and, they, and they can't, because everybody is teachable. So, but my, my whole thing was like, every, was, like even if, it, even what y'all gotta understand is I'm not saying that I agree, but I'm, so, I'm giving you a perspective of 
if everybody was was raised on the same aspect of this is what you do, it's no judge. Do you do you? I do me is this until we find that life will be way different. It won't be none of that judgmental shit. I'll be like, yo, you can't fuck on this many men. You can't do none of that. That just goes back to what we was talking about. But Even the way this shit goes is the woman not supposed to be that the woman, like when it comes to men uh, who, who take certain interests in women, like who they really uh, consider wifing or fucking, they only fuck with a woman like, okay, you're not fucking on no nigga or giving up sex. Unless it's emotions or real feelings involved. You really fuck with this nigga. You like this nigga. This is why you getting pussy. So when you do it, it's like, oh, hey. bitch, you like this nigga. Because like we said in the beginning, niggas can go fuck stragglers and they be just like, damn, it's for the team. It's like, yo, did it for my nigga. It's that. And we'll never call, think about nothing else ever again. Women it's not like the men are the problem. Like always. You said oh, that's why men this are sounds, I don't know. <laughs> All this shit just sounds crazy to me. If a nigga told me he slept with 30 bitches, I'm nothing. disgusted. That shit fat. Like, it ain't. Uh. Your skin is. This shit is all. You look like you're losing weight. Your skin is breaking out, nigga. Like, let's go. Let's go get you tested. You need to go to the dog pound or something. I'm sad. I'm sad. Let's go get you some shots or something. Like some tetanus shots. Like, we got to go get him checked out. Until gotcha. he get tested, if he get tested, and then he's rocking with him, he caught the shit from you. From fuck with you, your skin and your something wrong with your shit. Your pH is off, and gave him some. How that make you feel? Well, he cleaned it. Hey. Oh, you got something like trichomonas or something like. But it's like damn, from bacteria or fucking with your homegirls laying in the same bed. You don't know where. But you ain't. How that make you feel? That's, 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 that's what they told you. What's trichomonas? <laughs> What's trichomonas? <laughs> that's that's, that's some, what they told you. <laughs> that, ain't, that, ain't, that ain't how that works. That ain't how that works. What's trick of honest? Honest, When it comes to when you that when ain't you how that works. That's what they told you from laying in the bed. So if you go, no, I'm telling you, go and fuck somebody, and your nigga, he go, y'all do the doctor, and he's clean. And so you talking about his face breaking out? Like, damn, you gonna get tested, and he's clean. So like, what is it? What are you saying now? If we had a discussion, you just say, Yo, your face breaking out, nigga. Damn, you looking all eye, you gonna get tested. No, 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 no. Like, before that, we gonna talk. Like, some shit came out, or if I heard some shit, like, yeah, I've been fucking with 30 bitches, I fuck with bitches, and all that. Like, that's nasty. Let's go get you swabbed for everything, including <laughs> COVID. Swab. Okay, so then you go and he clean. Then what? We say I feel secure now. I'm, we oh, I'm still gonna leave. Oh, oh, do do he don't fuck thirty to fifty bitches, but he That's just keeps thirty. Thirty for thirty. Let's go put you in a quarantine. Test you. Test you. So the yeah, quarantine. Coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> Getting real, it. but like that's the point that I was trying to make. Or still, listen. This even another thing. He what? told me y'all take the test. He don't got himself together before he started fucking with you. <laughs> so he fucked thirty bitches and got smoked. But when he was fucking with before he fucked you, he got right. So when y'all gonna get tested. He's still good. But you go fuck on him and be like, oh, but fuck, he still fucked thirty bitches, but he's clean. I it's mean, this is before before me. Like I don't care if it's before me. Yeah, and you and don't you got not tested fucking and you thirty straight. bitches currently. Like yeah, like. So you're not fucking with you fuck 30 bitches. Yes, they just said but one would that before them. I wouldn't know because I don't ask them questions. Well, I just ask for your paper. Yeah. I don't know. Like, even know how many, ain't no telling bitches. what somebody's number is. Like I'm not asking. The only thing I don't I don't ask the number. The only thing I ask you is if I'm in a room with somebody you've dealt with, you need to let me know. That's Please. the only thing. I don't care yeah, about same. Yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. embarrass. That's what anybody though. That's a weird. That's, 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 that's both ways. I don't bet that. That's both ways. That's ways. So. Please people, let me know. People, I don't fuck. And I let it be known. Like, yo, okay. This is what happened. I definitely gonna nail that. Definitely gonna cram that. But it ain't nothing to what's going on. It's just what it is. You know the vibes. But you be letting them know what's up. It, you it's know the vibes. I'm you, you let me know. Okay, so say we we go to an event, right? And the nigga I'm <laughs> talking to, he'd be like, "All right, well, I don't have sex with her. Me and her don't have relations. I don't have to pass." 
it's time for us to go because now I'm finna nut the fuck up. Cause it's like period. All these Why are you gonna nut? I don't need to feel comfortable. Why? This, that's before your time. Get me out of here. <laughs> no, it's it's not that's before your time. It's, it's not no, because it's before my time. Good. It's the fact that if it's multiple people, okay, one person we in the same room, we straight cool. But it's three to four. It's like, do you go to these events and you pick the same people that come to the same events every so single time? Saying. Like, what? No, yeah. uh, we just so, are so happy. We just at the same event. Nigga, oh, no, it, it, no, we ain't get that small. Out of here. It ain't that small. Get me yeah, out of here. Yeah, I, I need drink. to get up out of here. I'm, now, I, now, I now I want to fact check. If now I want to start asking questions. To go now. It, it's oh, not that I'm mad. I'm not oh, mad at you. It's just like you, you, now I'm gonna get some history. I want to know what, what what's going on. I get the history. This gonna get it. That's embarrassing. You want to go to jail? Want to do all that? We everybody going to jail. Everybody. Why everybody going to jail? I'm about to air this bitch out. Why? <laughs> you put me in no room that you ain't tell me nothing about. I'm airing this bitch out. What but I told you though. Everybody. I'm calling everybody. This is gonna be on that yet. What you okay. ask me? That's, different. that's what comes to my question. So that's what I was gonna ask AJ. You said we go to a gathering or an event. So when you say a gathering, so this is like something that. He invited people to, and y'all go together, or it's just like yo, y'all go out, and it's multiple people that he don't did something with, and you wild. Is you both. invited me out to do this? It it really is both, but it's like both. if you invited me out, and it's multiple people out here, it's like did you invite them here? Like what you got going on, type thing. But I mean, I mean, if we, if we go, okay, say we go, somebody take me to the club. Say we go to eleven forty five. He don't have sex with four of the bottle girls. He telling me oh, these bottle girls he don't fuck with. It's like you got a pattern, right? And then you bring me to the same club these bitches working. Like, Look at Nate move. Now, now, yeah, now it's a problem because now you being disrespectful. Now you being funny. But see, but see, what's the difference in that? Is because if we go to the eleven forty five, I'm fucking with you, and I don't fuck four bottle girls, but it's in the past, and none of these bottle girls is on my they they know that that was that. Then it's no issue. But if they on something, why, why is no issue? You could have took me in any other club in the city, and you want to take me to your own. I to my best friend birthday party. We not going What's out. Your best friend, you go out by yourself. You leave me at home. I will why? stay at the crib. You with me? But you want to be? I don't know that these girls. Girls. I don't know these girls. You want to be booed up that night. And you know what I'm gonna do? If you tell, if you take me to a club and you don't feel like four bottle girls, and you know. When we go to this club, you're going to have to tell me about these girls because they in my space. They right here. I'm going to go sit in another nigga section. And I'm going to get drunk. And I'm going to have fun. Oh, and I'm going to do whatever the hell I want to do because you got me go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And it's just as easy look, as that. I ain't, look, I ain't going to hold you. Uh, 5411. <laughs> you should have took me to opium. That's what you should have did. <laughs> But I, but I hit the waitress, I opium him though. So then how you gonna and feel? And your, your best friend is not your best friend because he should know not to pick that club. But he want to pick it in there. Be a messy. Number one. Number two, like, if it was me, like, yeah, don't even take me in there, bro. You just said the past is the past. Yeah, but don't even take me in there, bro. Don't even put me in that situation. Don't even. Yeah, it's I, like, I, I can't explain what I'm gonna avoid. do when I'm drunk. Like, don't even tell me about it. But don't tell me about it while we in there. Wait till we leave. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm not telling you about that club. I know that you're fast. I'm a city I'm not man. Oh, damn, babe. Don't drink bugging out. What man. if that's like? If if that's like like here's the other thing though like. In a re when you like in a serious relationship, I expect like certain things to be discussed, and I know what bitches you don't fuck with around the city and the everything. Like, I yeah, know because it's like I one know. thing I don't like. I don't like being blindsided. I like knowing when I'm when I'm about to hit it that I'm about to hit it. Like I know what's coming, but if you blindside me, yeah, we got a problem, and I'm gonna embarrass you just like you did me. So if I know well, that you've been fucking with bitches in eleven forty five and opium and shit, like okay, I know that this nigga might have fucked this bitch. I'm gonna be like on top of my shit. Like don't have me in there looking sloppy ass, fucked up. Drunk. Cause bitches is sloppy. Yeah, bitches will be petty. They will be malicious. They'll, They'll be petty, stuff. and then I'm thinking I'm being comfortable. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm with my nigga, but I really need to be first on. Of, like, first of all, which I gotta realize. Let me give y'all a little bit. Let me give y'all some that. First of all. 
Bitches be petty, but bitches know what nigga not to play with and who to play with. I heard you. So if you see Mama, me, Mama. I'm with my main joint and we in the section, bitch, you better ski on before you get pee on. I heard Because you violate mine, you violate you. I heard So if you go get your uncle and your brother and shit, and we'll take that shit to the next level. You might have some, but a female might feel you might have sex with the wrong yeah, female. So and yeah, she feel like you bringing another female in there, and that's just feel disrespectful. Boss talk, you feel me? So you better know. Hey, man, it's church around this motherfucker now. Don't disrespect mine, and I won't disrespect you. She, so might not, she, she might not be disrespectful, though. She might do something. See, the way girls work is, I see a nigga I used to fuck with, he with a girl, blah, blah, blah. I might go up again, like, oh, my God, you so pretty, da, da, da. what's your Instagram, blah, blah, blah. And we go from there, but now I'm being petty because now yeah, I'm going to show you. Club, you, know, you got to go. Kill all that shit. <laughs> yeah, kill all that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, I got so much that. control. Oh, he ain't on social media, so he don't know this vibe. Because any day I yeah, follow you. Know. And I follow you. <laughs> so when I come to your page and I see shit on my joint, I'm like, yo, how are you following it? I'm, how you know her? Who's the... Oh, I'm on. Yo, son, listen. Why are you even talking to her? Like, what, what, what is you doing? But like it shouldn't have got to that point to begin with. So no, but look, cause if she come, you just said like, Yo, you spill the tea, spill the tea, Rich. Almighty, you just said they ain't even spill it. They just G shit. Almighty, you just said, yo, if I'm fucking, if you fuck with me, right? We go to the club, and you don't know I used to fuck with the bottle girl, but she want to be petty, and she come and say, oh, you mad, pretty, ah, 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 da, 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 da. y'all exchange. Okay, cool. Y'all ain't saying it because if it was something said, you would have pressed it that night. So we go, I jump on Instagram and I see, and I'm looking up, I see a picture of her. Cause at the end of the day, even though I don't fuck with her, if I see a picture I like, I may double tab it. But if I see something and it's like, cause you see the mutual friends who like it. <laughs> so I see a lot of they don't like this picture. I'm like, wait, hold up. How the fuck is y'all even friends? Like, yo, how you know her? Like, what's 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 going on? Like, oh, you know this much, like what you want? Like, you know what? That's a you know, she really gonna get go out sad. After that, because you really try to play, or oh, you want to be on some bullshit, you don't know, befriend my my shorty to try to what but, do what. But listen, the thing is, it could have all been prevented. So say if you told me about this girl, I know I know what she looked like, etc. So when she do come to me, oh you pretty too, blah, blah, blah. oh let's follow each other. Nah, I'm good, sis. Like I'm straight. Like at that point, she's trying because she thinks it's stupid, Atlanta, and you didn't this prevent Atlanta, it. You got a nigga who on a nice First of all, this is not Atlanta, Georgia. This well, isn't like, this, this, this isn't me. even like this isn't even like oh if this happened to me type of thing. This is just like in general, oh, like yeah, we generalize everything. All this is generalized. You say in Atlanta, Georgia, like motherfuckers just run no. This could happen in oh, Dallas, Texas. So this is where we live in this uh, regards because I can't speak on other cities, but in Atlanta, shit be so small, you could be talking to a motherfucker or whatever the case may be. Like, yo, if that's the past, like, yo, I ain't on that. But it'd be so people running to each other. She might see you or been looking at my Instagram and see you in the club by yourself and come in before, like, damn, you mad pretty. Ah, 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 and do that. And we might not even, this might be the club you wanted to go to for your birthday, 1145. And I don't even know that I don't fuck these bitches and these bottle girls. But she already don't befriend the Jew because she see that you my joint. And y'all taught it. Then we go to the club and they didn't want to be a cop. That's, different, that's, what type oh. of shit that's what type of shit they would do and be petty. And I'm like, yo, I don't even fuck with this bitch. I didn't know she worked here. And then wait till we come to the club and be like, oh, that's damn, what's up? And cause them problems. That's what okay, I'm so, you. Okay, so clearly you got to type in bottle girls is it. Cool. <laughs> no, but we not no. You, you got to type oh, got no bottle, bottle girls is it. Cool. Got it. No, 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 Body. Yo, for real, body. Body. That's how your that boy shit slimy. That's how that <laughs> shit go. That's how that shit go, bro. Slimy. Yo, I'm telling you, but if women could be petty and do shit like that and it'll cause issues. Like, damn. Like, why you brought why me here? Why you just say that? 
I just said that. <laughs> like, you brought me to this spot. I don't even go out. It's your birthday, and you want your, your boss or your nigga to put you up. So, you know, we're going to get these bottles on us. We're going to throw you a party. But then this bitch is all in. Why is this bitch all No, in? no. As my birthday, though, like, you're going to be my nigga, and you're going to just, like, yo, we going over here. Like, we just, that's what bosses do. We going over here. He gonna he gonna ignore all that. Like I'm not talking about go there. That's not even what's going on, sis. If she we picks up here. If my shorty that's picks what a boss do. She he gonna ignore all birthday. of that. Like she yeah, this is the place. popping club. I know this is the popping club, but yeah, that's not what we, we go on a couple's night at fucking Fucking yeah. uh, whatever. Why stop? Yeah, so wait, what's, a, what's, a, what's, a, what's the what's the what's the what's the club name in Atlanta that go off on Sunday? What's the Sunday brunch? We're not in Atlanta, remember? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go to Oak on Friday, couples night. Just so you know, they got couples night on Friday. Yeah. <laughs> Look, she been in there. She been in there with the Jamaican from Florida. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know they had that. I didn't know they did that. What are you talking about? And yeah, listen, what I'm telling you is like, if, uh, if, if, if Amadi, my main thing is like, yo, it could go both ways. Like, yo, if I'm, I'm it's not just that I'm bringing you to a club, but just say you want to go to this club. And it's like, yo, you got to really consider even the type of shorty you no. are. How you like, meet yo, your nigga need to plan it. Like, Oh, you want to go there? Nah, baby. We gonna go here because I know. Even if I want to go there, you should still tell me. Yeah, block it. What? I don't know. I don't. 11.45 not my spot. I go to this spot. This you know where, where your hoes work at? You no. sure do. It's an old bitch. You're not fuck, man. What? I know what I'm old. I'm bouncing from club to club. Man, stop. You know how, stop. You know, mom, you know how many shorties I know who bartended at this club, this club, and then they not there. They had a whole you see them like damn. I thought, oh nah, that shit wasn't right. It like when home? you see her, that's when you tell me. Like you well, might not tell, like tell you, but you see her in the club, like just boy, you better act sleep. You better act sleep in that motherfucker, like you don't know nobody. Not even me. You better wait till you leave. You better wait till you leave that motherfucker. I'm gonna let you know. Let me ask you this a real question. So. When you say tell you that, it gotta be because it gotta be some type of time frame when you say tell you that. Because if it's somebody, listen, listen, that, listen, listen. This I'm gonna keep it all the way gangster. Don't tell me why we in there. I'm liable but, to act the motherfucking I'm monkey. Not doing all the talking and then we I'm, I'm, la I'm liable to act the motherfucking monkey. Why? Why are you gonna act the monkey? I'm not gonna let it. You crazy? Don't give a fuck because I got you now and she don't. But I still want to know, like. There you go. There you go, AJ. Talk that, AJ. That's right. I respect that, AJ. But my thing is, this is drunk you or sober you? This is both. This is both me. AJ, AJ, mommy, I see both of you in the club. AJ, so listen, tell me this, AJ. So go back to what I say. What is the time frame about somebody that they dealt with? Period. So it's like, yo, you're somebody, okay, that you, if it's somebody three, four years plus that I ain't fuck with them in three, four years, that shouldn't even fucking matter. It does like, matter. You, you still it does. something. It, it might not, it might not cause no friction. It might not even shift my mood. It might not do nothing to me, but at least I know. That's just building trust. That's just building. We ain't got so no you want to talk about it right here? Up. Ain't no. So you want to know about it right here? So you, you want to kill a vibe right here? here. So he like he said, he just said, yo, we in the club, it's your birthday, we pop, he don't pop 10 bottles, dude say you with your girl, y'all chilling. He see somebody from three, they come up. You want her to be like, yo, damn, hey babe, I used to fuck this little bitch back in the day. Uh, I see she talking to you, she keep running, y'all giggly, giggly, but no, you don't want to talk about that when you get home. Like, 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 if you see this bitch in my face and we being giggly and I'm like, that's the girl in the Lincoln another time. She's like, oh, you like, I'm not with these niggas. I'm coming for your head. I'm coming for you because you had the opportunity to tell me. Listen, I'm not messing with niggas like that. It's kind of your fault. Nobody like that. Like you said, you said you don't post none of your niggas that you fuck with, so she don't know who her nigga is. That was you just said. And then a two, Amadi, a lot she of know, these women. She know, she know that was a lot of these women who play bottle girls. Bitches know. They in there working. Bitches know. 
Bitches, no, bitches, no. Listen, no. no. Okay, but look, I don't know. She don't see it. Listen, but the thing is, they may know. Hold on, but look, they may know. know. They may know. I'm aware, but at the end of the day, me being aware, don't pay my bills. Me working my move and doing my job, going to get these bills paid. I'm going to be in this big face and play, oh, I, 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 work on how I'm going to get my tip, do whatever I got to do to be what I got to do to do my job. So it's like, long as I don't cause no friction, I'm doing what I do to make sure everybody's good. When it comes you to that, like that don't have nothing to do with you. Telling <laughs> you sound like a stripper. No, strippers, they all fall the, the same lane. They fall in the same lane. Strippers gonna do strippers, it. Strippers, bartenders, waitresses play the same game. Okay, I'm not, fucking, I'm not fucking. I'm not fucking with no strippers. I'm not fucking with strippers. They, they, I'm not they, fucking with no like, strippers or oh, bartenders. I see this nigga. I do. I nah, do Bobby, you don't fuck with nobody but street niggas and runners. <laughs> I'm telling you, Marty. Listen, man, <laughs> pull up on us, man. Like, Stop. Man. Yeah, Don't say that on camera. Don't say that on camera. Right, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Right, pull up niggas against me, man. Listen, man. Now, nah, but what I'm telling you is, man, man, first of all, this is what I'm telling you, though, man. At the end of the day, you got to look at the shit like this, man. Like, man, nigga, if a nigga really fuck with you, he's not going to put you in a fucked up bad situation. At all. Real, yeah. Nigga. You know what I'm saying? He's not going to put Here. you in no, no nothing Here. that's going to happen. Because first of all, like, niggas don't even want no conversation with y'all, really, man. So all that yeah. extra shit. Not on book. my motherfucking birthday, and if he know me, mm-hmm. he know I'ma act a, mo- a motherfucking but monkey. But see if he like, know me, like, like you said, like I said, he can fuck with a boss on work. I work and might put you in that environment. That's not going to. I might take a step back and keep it moving simply because it is my birthday. Like I'm not finna. I'm not a drama type of person. I'm the type of person if I want to fight you, we gonna fight, and that's it. I'm not doing the talking, the going back and forth. The et cetera, et cetera. I'm not doing that. I don't get mad. Like, even when I'm about to get in the fight, I'm not a loud talker. I yeah. don't do all that. So it's like, if he be like, babe, you know, I used to fuck with her, et cetera, et cetera. That was like some years ago. All right, let's take this shot. Let's keep it fucking moving. Maybe we'll talk about it later if it's important enough. But if it's not, I don't give a I fuck. But the fact tell. that you told me just makes me happy. I, you, you might I, I, right I can't tell you what I'm going to do when I'm drunk. If I'm I don't dr- you you don't pop ten bottles and you tell me the bitch that's walking a bottle over here and you've been fucking with I'm swinging on you her and three more hoes like like I don't- <laughs> he needs to he need to te- he need to tell you right when y'all walk through the door he need to let you know right when y'all walk through yeah. the door. The and then we leave in the club. Like I'm not gonna have a good time. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 You, yeah you hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's why. Uh, that's why we need to go to Oak on Fridays. Couple nights, the, like. Bobby, <laughs> Bobby, 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 this big leaves with the New York eight with the do rag under this motherfucker. This big leaves. <laughs> Boy, this ain't no you cow. Sound like you Boy, this ain't no cow. Ginger. You sound like anything can set you off when you drink. It will. When she got that liquor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm scared of you. Hey, I'm scared of you. 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 i this one, when the liquor get involved, when the liquor in her system, she told her side story. I was like, wait, you ain't bark? Because I know this motherfucker to a T, yeah? But and y'all don't, I didn't tell y'all. Why are we going back to that? Y'all don't know what happened out there. I'm not talking about it. I'm just you talking know? about as far as your actions, as far as how you going. You saucy, baby. Okay. So you fixed up brat with your bees, you then or through gang signs, they, all that they put me in a little situation where I, you know what I mean? I really couldn't win. I'm way, I'm in, come on, Phoenix, Arizona. I couldn't. Go, nah, we ain't talking about, about, about that. We ain't talking about that. We ain't talking about that. Oh, what you talking about? What you talking about? We ain't talking about that, yo, B. B. Wait, yo. What, other, what other episode? Yo, B, we love you, B. What other episode you talking about? Cause I don't, listen, don't tell me till after we leave. I mean, I I want to know. You want to know what? Look, I want to know if you fuck with a bitch, number one. Number two, don't even put me in that that environment. Like, 
whose idea was it to even bring me here? Take me to couples night. Wherever couples night is. It's her birthday. She planned on going to that spot. It was no, her birthday. Nine times out of ten. Look, nine times out of ten, I don't even want to go to the spot. <laughs> so listen what I'm telling y'all. Nine times out of ten. I'm telling y'all. Nine times out of ten. I don't even want to go to the spot. All right, so what I'm saying, nine times out of ten, right? Bottle girls ain't about to get disrespectful in, in their work spot because they need that money. Right. You fuck up that bread, they're going to be out here like coronavirus right now. No money, no nothing. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. So, Amari, sometimes you ain't got to get all light-skinned, baby. Well, Amari said she want to do it. She's like, yo, I don't I'm, want you to get to the spot. But don't you can even take me there. The thing is, you could be in this Atlanta. You could be in any spot. You could be in a restaurant, the mall, anything. And if four joints walk by, who you know, this shit's small. Especially when it comes to dealing with the women you deal okay, with. Okay, well, but if you know, y'all are saying it like it's a problem in telling somebody something. Y'all are saying it like no, it's an issue. No, we're not saying it's not that. an issue. But it's a time no, and a place. Time and a place. Time and a place. No, time and a place. No, I'm about to tell you. Look, if you tell me that shit on my birthday, I'm going to air that bitch out. After the drinks. After the drinks. You a gangster. I'm hearing that bitch out. I ain't gonna hold After you. the drinks, I'm showing. Drinks. I'm showing the fool. I'm, I'm acting a motherfucking fool. Everybody, we gonna we gonna pop ten bottles and we leaving them there. Oh, you nigga, you See, think you, you tried? No, you bought you bought me in there. No, leave these bottles here and open up. I no, and pour them in the ice bucket. We out. Like I'm leaving. I see. Auntie, you gotta tell you before. I can't have a good time with a bitch that fucked my nigga. Like I'm not having a good time with that hoe. I'm not. No. I can't. Uh, we gotta tell you before, bro. Drunk. So we need to tell Auntie to get to the crib. We leaving. We Don't leaving. We gonna have a good night. We leaving. We leaving. Yeah, have a good night, baby. We leaving. Yeah, I'm with you. Know, you. Know, this is folks, man. Nine times out of ten, that nigga know the shorty he dealing with, so he know he can't say nothing in the spot. If he know he got, I'm gone. We're leaving. We're leaving. We popping ten bottles and we out. I'm like, why are we leaving? And you poured the bottles in the ice bucket? Why? <laughs> oh, okay. That's what's going on. Speak to you too, bitch. I see why you see. You're a thug, son. You're a thug, bro. You got to chill. I hope you like this on American Airlines, man. <laughs> Wait, what you, what'd you say? You got to <laughs> chill. Love on a nigga, bitch. Love on a nigga. 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 Man, you crazy. I love the fuck out of these you niggas. Have a nice day. You be ready to say, yo, nigga, toughen up, nigga. <laughs> Don't let nobody crazy. talk. Like, damn. Hey, man, don't be a runner all your life, nigga. Be a boss. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Cause I, don't do that. Cause don't do that. Hey, man, wow, sir. It took a couple tries. I got the boss, though. Don't do that. <laughs> With the boss right now? With the boss right now? Always. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Amen. I, 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 I lead a group for a couple of years. That's still my baby. That, that's still my baby. He's gonna hold me down no matter what. That's my baby for life. And make sure y'all uh, hear that so I can tell him that. That's my baby for life. Oh, uh, okay. So you fuck out of here. Then somebody got the pouty face. So you can be a what for life? <laughs> It's gonna be the what for what? It to be a side joint for life. Who? <laughs> you. Can I be a side <laughs> joint for life? Yeah. No. That's not what that is. I was just asking, can you? No. That's not okay. what that is because I don't want to air the nigga out. Are you crazy? Until you too violent. God damn. I'm violent as fuck. I'm not. Listen. Okay, now I'm drunk and you. Okay, you got me. Listen. <laughs> hey, boy, yeah, hey, what? Hey, man, look, man. It's somebody ain't gonna let me go regardless of what the fuck I do. That man not gonna let me go for shit. Yeah, that yeah. man not gonna let me go at all. I don't care. Uh, what I do. I don't, what care, what I, I don't care what I do, what he do, is this shit, that shit too tight. Like you still aside, you still, you still um, red beans and rice. <laughs> oh. You say say you're the main course? I'll call that man on three way right now. Red beans and rice. It ain't 
Ain't no oh, which one? Fish fries fries I, I, I will call that man any time of night. All right, that's you know, I'll pull up. I, and matter of fact, I'll tell us, yeah, I'm flying in in the morning. Don't play with me. I have a question. Okay, but, still, but if he still got a situation, you still you still red beans and rice. <laughs> we will never have a situation. Never. How? That's what you're in. So you saying right now that you ain't fuck with him, he ain't fuck with nobody else. He ain't getting no play. he ain't doing nothing else. He might be doing things because that's just what he do. Okay, but so you fall in line, you're still mashed potatoes and gravy. <laughs> no, 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 no. You trying to say you no, decided no, no, no. No, no, no. I'm the head look, I'm the head bitch in charge. I move the bag, bitch. Can none of y'all hoes touch that bag unless I say so. So oh. you're the turkey in the ham. Unless I say so. Are you the head? But he still can do it. You sound crazy. Be he can do what he do. What I'm gonna do? It's his bag. What I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna say? Exactly. Red beans and rice. He said your name is Sides. No. He said. He said. He said. He said. He said. Welcome to Popeyes. Can I take your order? Yeah. Yo, let me get the um the chicken strips. What are your sides? Bobby Cash and a biscuit. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not what's going on. If this man say any name, if this man say any name out of Lisa or Simona, it's not going. Not going. I control oh. that bag. If that oh, okay. man say any name out of Lisa or Simona, it's not going. Period. Period. Oh, okay. Why are you dropping I need explanation. Why are you dropping names? You awesome, Yeah, bro. so they know what the fuck going on. Only people that know what the fuck going on gonna know what the fuck going on. So, oh, good job, but hey man, you on your side? I Listen, any name, I'll any name out of those two people is not going. I so, I yeah, I so that's his mama and his sister. I see. We don't want no name. It's not going. I see. I see. I have a question. Bitch, you can't even move it up without me, sis. AJ had a question. I see. What you say, nephew? Okay. Uh, what you, what'd you say, baby girl? Can you be exclusive with someone that has a higher or lower sex drive than you? Hell yeah. Mm. Hey, Jay. Fuck yeah. 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 Can you be exclusive with somebody that has a higher? No, what would you say if someone has a lower sex drive than you? And you uh, want to be exclusive then with them? I could, yeah, I could. I could. I could. Well, I'm gonna let everybody go. So, okay, Rado, how you feel? Go ahead. I could, because if I'm rocking with you, I'm rocking with you no matter what. So I made that choice because I know mine high. So, if, but if yours <laughs> low, then I mean, and I choose to deal with it, then yeah, I'm a, I, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna rock with you. Do you just accept it being that okay? We ain't got that, or you try to work the, uh, work her shit up to yours. I, she gonna say eventually she gonna get up to mine, so that's why I say I rock with you. Not eventually. Eventually right. she gonna get up there. Right. Right. I'll rock with you because then you after right. that, you walk right. around right. right. that pit bull with the little thing and get out, right? Yeah. <laughs> after a while, you gonna you gonna be like, damn, this man, and then, yeah, you gonna like the feeling, so you gonna you know. What? Can I listen to my guy low sex lower, lower or high? You said lower, right, Amadi? Mm-hmm. Okay, can you fall lower or lower? Be exclusive with him. And yeah. exclusive is like, 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 it's different with a it's different with a dude because you damn near can turn the sex drive up. Now you can get your shit. You can, you can make her. You can make her turn her. Wow. Shit. You can now make I'm her turn it up. Technically, like, if I, I don't have my whole like, girl talk to me and they be like, damn, I, I feel like a woman's you know, sex like, drive is, is like, emotional. Like, like if the the more attached I am, the more you. It mm -hmm. just it depends on how a guy makes me feel. So the way yeah. you make me feel depends on if my sex drive with you is gonna exactly. be high or if it's gonna be low. Exactly. Oh, okay. Okay. exactly. Attack, exactly. Like, so if you fucking with a bitch and like her sex drive, I don't know. She want to have low, sex she not two times here. out the week, and you want to have sex six times out the week. You doing something huh. wrong, really? Because really, you you take that thing? So your, 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 hey, hold on, wait, hold on, Almighty. You say if you as a female you want to have sex two times a week, and your dude want to have sex six times a week, you said who got something going on wrong? The guy, like the emotional connection, isn't all, all it's not there yeah, all the way, it's basically. Not, it's not if he want to fuck six times and she only want to fuck twice, yeah, okay. So, it's a disturbance on his behalf, it's a disturbance within, yeah, within the relationship, like on her behalf. And she's not like into something. 
I mean, two times is low, y'all. To be with somebody exclusive two times a week, like, you're not married. Like, you ain't been together for 10, 15 years. Like, I feel like the minimum should be, what, four out the week? Yeah. Like Five. Minimum is five. She's a little bit younger half. than y'all. Like, y'all so. might do a quickie in the bathroom one day. Like, Girl, you're a little bit younger than these niggas. These niggas, it goes, sis. Man, he like, oh, he like, 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 he I could control that. Like, Why you okay. Control? Nah, you give it up. Cause you can you make. Can, you, you, you can make. I feel like I feel like for a woman, like yeah, you can hang with a guy with a lower sex drive. Cause all I gotta do is give you a little slop, your little sloppy, and you, yeah, you there, like we you back, there. But for a woman, mm, for a woman, no, you man. might get me started. Like true. if it's not there, I, I'm not gonna. Yeah, don't just give me that job. I want to be into it with a woman. You have to be sexually like yo. It has to be interaction. If you in it, if it's not a mood or a vibe or feeling like yo, we getting it in, and you not having that, and you not fucking me back, I don't fucking on you, and we not, it's not that shit is. Oh, I'm gonna just get me me and it's over with. Nah, sex is always gonna be about two. That's what I'm saying. So it's like yo, yeah, for sure. It's not to that point where it's like, oh, I could just get the slot and I know I get them there. But like. More than just head, you got to fuck on a nigga too. You get a head, you yeah, got to yeah. get on. No, I'm just saying head starts it off. That's uh, okay. the start. Is like, low, think, like that's just yeah. a start. That's just a start. Oh, like okay. if, if you're not giving, a, if you're not giving a nigga head in order for him to nut and shit, you gotta fuck. Like that's what you. That's <laughs> yeah, the next yeah, step. Like you ain't yeah, just gonna do a little yeah. bit of this stuff. Yeah, no, like, I don't nut off no head. I need the whole thing. I don't nut off no head. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what type of girls you been fucking with, right? Right. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I swear to God, I'm right hand to God. I Look, you want to tell what never, I'm tired? Listen. I've never. What, you never? You a good one. I ain't never. That's I ain't a real never, one. No, I'm no here. No reflection without a follow, without a mention. Come back. 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 Yeah. A little bit. Like, <laughs> I have it was it was one. She was about like this so close. Me. I'm trying to give it to you. I'm trying to give it to you. Uh, I'm, I'm not on no head. All on you. Take a little bit. I love that little hoe. <laughs> That's a fucking <laughs> song. <laughs> My shit right there. Sexy Yo. little bitch. I love that little. Love the way she talk. Love she wear it up. So baby. <laughs> I'm trying but, to give it to you. So, baby. Yeah. You better get you a bitch that wants them throat, baby. I had one. I had one, Auntie. I did. This is back like in 2010. I never forget. You better it. find Santa another State. bitch that love them throat, baby. But it just, I just, I can't. I'm I trying just, to my give mind it don't to be. you. You love throat, baby. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> throat, baby. Yo, bitch, little you... bitch, I love it all. Love the way you go, man. That shit go off, don't it? Yeah, that's my shit. I ain't gonna lie. Well, I, I think I heard that shit in the Lord. I let all that shit go. They said, oh, such a little bitch. What? <laughs> it was my <laughs> birthday, too? No, you threw the boss's money, man. You threw the boss's <laughs> money. <laughs> it was my birthday money. It was my birthday money. Don't do that. It was birthday money. Such a little bitch. I ain't been outside since my birthday, nigga. Sex a little bit. Love it, love it when you talk. Love to see you. So, baby. What did he say? Uh, he said something else. Um, Let a little nigga deep stroke your throat till you, till you choke. What? That's how you got to do it. Got to stand so up, baby. Big. I'm trying to give him to you. Yo, I'm yo. I'm trying to man. fuck all on you. Hey, man, we about to wrap this shit up, man. We appreciate y'all fucking with us tonight, man. What y'all got to say? Oh, man? Yeah, is that it? I was just getting into it. No, I'm just kidding. Y'all, man, get your ass out of here. Hey, so look, baby. man. Hey, yo, we probably come around. We going to come around to everybody, man. You sign yourself out, man. Tell us what you got going for the 2020 when this coronavirus is over, man. I hope everybody get out. I hope everybody's family safe, man. 
Talk your shit, AJ. We gave you a new name tonight, man. Tell them how much you got going on. 2020, I'm, I just want to advance my YouTube channel. I want to be out here making money. I want to make sure I'm straight. That's pretty much it. Like, I just want to be straight. Where they can find you at? Tell them where they can find you at. You can find me on Instagram. The Real Mighty J is right, right here. Okay, okay, that's what I'm talking about. There you no, go. you will be straight. Speak it, speak it. You will be straight. You will, be, you know, yeah, oh, Paige you will be. I'm gonna be straight. My YouTube channel going up. Like, it's on the YouTube channel. What's your YouTube? Amadi What's your YouTube? Amadi J. It's just Amadi J. That's it. Okay. I'm about to go I'm find support you. Now, girl. I'ma support you, girl. I'ma support you. Y'all gonna support you. me. Y'all gonna watch. I already yeah. fucked. I've been watching. But you gotta, you gotta do like cute stuff. Like I like to watch. Yeah, she. Yeah, yeah. She follow back. Yeah, she already followed. It don't I did the the song. I did a lot of stuff. I don't know if she watched all 11 or 12 episodes, but she follows. She follows. I be watching some of the episodes. I do. Okay. It's on you, bro. Go ahead, Rilo. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, man, no. I'm going to make sure that I graduate, be the first of my family to get a BA. I was the first of my family to get three AAs. You feel me? Fresh out the pen. You know what I'm saying? I did a four year bid. That ain't hold me back. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do everything that I, you know, God showed me that I'm supposed to do. No more Jays in that graduation, man. Go ahead, nephew. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing gonna hold me back. You feel me? Man, you, can f- you can find me at yardy dot underscore. You know what I'm saying? You follow me, I will follow you back. You know what I mean? I will support you because we gotta support each other for real, for real. And that's good karma too. I believe in karma. That's good karma. You oh, karma is a real thing. You know what I'm saying? Sure. That's good karma. Uh, outside of that, you know. Yeah, man, just follow your dreams. 2020, I know I'm going to be the first person in my family to touch millions. I don't give a damn. I'm going to do it legal, oh. too. I ain't doing it no more. You got I'm to done say with that. legal shit. Say that. I'm going to be the first. Say that. You know say that. Yes, yeah, you. man. You and everybody mess with me, I'm going to look out for them. Oh, I swear to God. So, look, that's and when you touch that it. first meal, make sure y'all go see that shit. I mean, make sure y'all play this shit back when he touch that first meal. Play this shit back. For real. Because it's going to be quick. I'm going to be seeing you niggas. I ain't got to play it back. I'm going to see him. Big Nate. Big Nate. Big Nate. Big Nate. Dope. Richie. Dope. Look, nephew. Just buy me a little rollie. That's all I want. Just a little rollie. I got you. I'm going to make sure. I just want a little rollie, nephew. Just buy me a little rollie. You got my word. You got my word. AJ, you want something, AJ? You ain't even got to bust me down. I want a Bentley truck. So I'm going to just buy a little AJ want a Bentley truck. Hold on, hold on. You want a Bentley truck? Hold on, now. Okay, I got you. I don't even want all that. Just go ahead and give me a little roll. You got to bust me down. Talk that shit, Talk your shit, B Cash. I don't have anything to say. Y'all know what's going on. I hope y'all follow me at B Cash. I don't know. Shit slowed down on the road or whatever. (laughs) I'm just out here showing the world. I just hope I give exposure and influence. The young girls like me, we made it. We project princesses, bitches. <laughs> Slap. We made it out, bitch. <laughs> we made it out on some project princess shit, bitch. Y'all know what's going on, man. Shout out to Remy. <laughs> shout out to Stacy. Shout out to all y'all. I love y'all forever and after. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Boy, I'm I done. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I go refill me or not? Nah? Refill your shit up. Refill your shit up. Man. Now I got I got to drink Jack now because we are all fucked up. Uh, oh no, I got something else. Hold on. Hold next on, hold on. time I know I need some liquor. Yeah, you got to get yeah. some liquor. So next time you're gonna be in the building with us, and we're gonna have you right. We're gonna get you right. That's what it's gonna be. We're going to be back at Fat Nasty next time. You know how we do at Fat Nasty, goddamn yard. Oh, you know I we... don't know because I don't get invited, so. Dude, you don't be in the A, man. Bring your ass to the A and come to FCE I, Studio. That's man. not a big deal. I, yo, and I need all deal. y'all, man. For real, I need all y'all go fuck with my boy Burger. He just got his new album or not. Cool. I posted him. Oh, I reposted him. I reposted him. We still in the trash. I reposted him. And I watched the live. Got him off the flight. Still in the trash. I feel y'all. Everybody toasted up and in the help with Oh, I'm gonna be straight for you. Shout out to nephew and his graduation and all that. 
Thank you, Auntie. Yeah. One, two, three. Shout out to Fat Shout out to Fat Nasty Podcast. Yeah. Yeah. I came to fuck with me and my boy Richie at Fat Nasty Podcast, man. Yo, support FCE Styles. Y'all fuck with my boy Burger. He drops new shit called Permit Stars. Y'all fuck with that, man. I'm mm-hmm. gonna cut these things. I'm fucking moving. We really couldn't be doing anything else. There's really Dirty Club. I'm gonna check my boy out on Dirty Hello, Club. So I could have been watching Law and Order. I fuck with my niggas, man. And we're gonna come out of this coronavirus better than ever, man. Shout out to the Belly Game Boys. Let me put my belly on your butt. We signing off, man. Fat Nasty Podcast. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.